The Bob and Tom Show. You're a beautiful girl. A sideways sloppy joke. I don't get it. Yeah, you do. Wouldn't it spill? I think they're trying to tell us something. Huh? Good morning. Welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. Beautiful embroidered applique top you're wearing. One of our favorites. Thank you. Looks like my Aunt Marg's couch. I have a lady helping me organize my life. She wanted to get rid of this jacket yesterday. I said, absolutely not. These organization people, all they do, they want a dumpster. I got to clear everything out. It's really nice, though, when they get done. Uh, many, many hard choices to make at the compound. I got to do I got to do that. Hey, Pat Godwin, how are you? I'm good, Chick. How about yourself? Oh, not too bad. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. I heard the Bob and Tom Bandit Orchestra in their classic, Camel Toe, uh, with sincere apologies to the Beach Boys. Yes, why are you smirking? Well, because I had a bone density scan earlier this week, and the kid who did my scan. What did you have? A bone density scan. I show like the bone. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and the kid that did my scan goes, you work for the Bob and Tom show? I love that Camel Toe song. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> he was young. Oh, uh, wow. Well, that's, so that's you, very uh, nice. Did you ask him out? No, I'm married, remember? Is that still going? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good, good for, for you. you. Yeah. He's not be... living there yet, but he's good still for... going. That, uh, yeah. There's no reason to <laughs> yeah. get, get carried away. That's right. <laughs> ah, this weekend's Armageddon. He's moving in. Is he really? Oh, yeah. is that right? Well, yeah. that's, why you're, that's why you're cleaning some stuff out? Yes. Sweet baby. Yes. Oh. Does he have his own closet? Yeah, he has his own room for his clothes. <laughs> stuff. Okay. Well, that'll yeah. Be good. That'll be good. Yeah. 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 Uh, very nice. Gee, I wonder how this is going to turn out. Well, you know, it's going to turn out I'm kidding, of course. How long have you lived alone? Me Chick. or Chick? Oh, me? Uh, p p p p 11 years? 12 years? Wow. And I was Josh, 16. Pretty much your entire life? Uh, yeah, except for a couple years, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Pat? Uh, since 2014. Ace? Since 99. 
So I'm the only one. <laughs> yeah. What? Hasn't yeah. lived alone for a while? Yeah. Doesn't live alone. Yeah. Well, that tells you something. <laughs> Are you like the, uh, you've told me in an unguarded moment that uh, you like the, uh, the the confusion and the constant uh, activity. Uh, no, people perceive keeps it. Keeps your mind off. People of perceive stuff. it. That really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, no, You're like, right. I don't like the chaos. What's the longest stretch you've been alone? Um, oh, an hour and a half? Two hours? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, close. Oh, oh, you mean on a daily basis? or Oh, many, many years. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, let's just move forward here. Congratulations, Christy, on him moving in. Yeah, it's exciting. Okay, look forward to Monday's show. It's, it's always <laughs> nice to have a launch <laughs> launch point uh, for Monday. We'll certainly look look. Don't they that. say that that's uh, like a, like a flashpoint for couples moving and uh, putting up the Christmas tree and yeah. You know, yeah. There there are a couple that uh, moving's a big one. I bet. Yeah, moving deciding is a big deciding one. where to go for dinner. That's yeah. always a big one. Yeah. Well, they used to have the roulette thing. Remember that? The, the app. I thing. loved that. App. I don't know what happened to yeah. it. Yeah. Just spin it and spin it, it spits out a restaurant. And you have to abide by it. I love that idea. Yeah. 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 <laughs> would you abide by it? I would. I'm not the one. I don't. I don't believe that you would. <laughs> I'm not the one. Really? Oh, that's a good. You spin the thing, and you know, and then this is where we're going. Yeah, that's it's very simple. I'll do it right now. Give it a give it a quick spin. All right. And uh, let's see. Um, uh, Mexican. I don't feel like Mexican today. See? There you go. Yeah. So you, you all have reached a point in your lives where you want no control over how you, what you uh, do. You know, that. Chinese, not, not the night for time. <laughs> no, it's I just, I sometimes. If somebody just... cleaning your closets, you want an app that decides what you have for dinner. <laughs> I yes. have someone yeah. helping me clean my closet because I need the motivation. I don't. Well, I'm just I won't saying, do get it. it yourself. Most muster it up. <laughs> no, these people are good at it. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, these people are very good at it. And you don't sit there and look at something and go, "Oh, but I got that as a gift." And it, no, get rid of it. Okay. All right. And my brother once said, "If you haven't used something in a year, throw it away." And I said, "Does yeah. that include my fire extinguisher?" <laughs> uh, Maybe. Is it no? Oh. Don't they say a year? Throw it away. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, really? If you haven't worn it in a year, throw it away. Yes. Really? Yeah, that's my that's my about my rule. Give, really? give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. How many shirts do you own? Do you think? Um. And do you hang the, all yeah, of them? Yeah, they're all hung. Yeah. So I've got like I don't know, fifteen Carhartts and fifteen of the almost exact same d Dickies. Yeah. But I use I wear them all. Right. You ever go to a place called a Dickie Bar? I haven't been to a Dickie Bar. What Remember is it? the Dickie Bar? Remember who told us about the no. Dickie Bars? Yeah, they were playing um, Pictionary. Oh, you go Dicky Bar with Mike and Carol or something. Who? <laughs> One of the comedians went through. I don't, and they I go to the Dicky that. Bar. I think it was a, uh, a barely dressed uh, waiters for it. Was for, uh, uh, for uh, females only. Gotcha. Oh, uh, it was called a Dicky Bar. Don't, oh. don't, don't remember that. Like uh, a Hooters, but the reverse. Yeah, like a yeah. Hooters, but for yeah, guys. They call it Peckers. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes, and there's a. It's, it's called a, Peckers. Yeah, yeah. The Rooster logo. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'll bet that didn't go over real well. Uh, now, uh, let's uh, move forward here. We have um, some interesting stuff coming up in the, where the world of sports meets the world of... Uh, Is that right? Romance. Uh, oh, coming up today. yeah. That, that's where you're the hanging your hat richer. today? Is that where you're hanging the old hat? That's one of the interesting stories I think we have today. It involves Everything's coming up Kelsey, kids. They're the first, uh, used to be the Mannings. Now it's the Kelsey family. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ah. They're the number one team in the national, or the number one family in the national football. Well, good. Then we've got a fun story about uh, Jason Kelsey coming up this morning. All right. Some fun that he did for one of his fans I think is cool. And whether he's going to retire or not, oh, it's up in the air. Uh, and uh, we also have um, uh, some interesting stories from the world of airlines today and something called a snow nado mm -hmm. in Breckenridge, Colorado that's gone viral. What do they do there? It was a ski resort, of course. Uh, you never heard of it? Nope, never heard of it. It's, uh, <laughs> very, very, it's, it's very high, very cold, usually. Is, it Myra, um, is Myra Breckenridge from there? Uh, no. Oh, she's not. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah. Obscure reference. Uh, what, what, what have you got coming up? Uh, we've got the NFL playoffs. We've got a trade in the NBA. We've got uh, the Dallas Cowboys have made a surprising announcement yesterday. It's certainly not what many what uh, so-called experts uh, were expecting. And, uh, yeah, jewelry and the Kelseys and uh, all sorts of things. A world record about a mousetrap. 
It's time you build a better mousetrap. Oh, we were just talking about mousetraps yesterday. Oh, that board game mousetrap was hit and miss, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really. Mostly miss. I think the preparation involved. (laughs) Yeah, ready to take a turn. (laughs) Yeah. They they miscalculated how long that took. (laughs) Reset the board. Was that the Rube Goldberg thing? Pretty much. Yeah. The the ball would fall, and okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Trap your mouse. uh, We also have an update on the uh, lighting of flatulence. Oh. Uh, Well, which. uh, were you aware that that was possible, Christy? Nope. I had no idea. Have you seen it? Nope. Okay. Well, <laughs> but, uh, oh, I'll watch. anybody got one in the if chamber? anybody wants to try it, dim the lights. I'll, I'll d- certainly let you know. I'm uh, certainly uh, interested. We'll find I've, out I've about tried to. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a shy. Do you have uh, to lay on your back and yep. roll it? Yeah. Well, we, yeah. And, and uh, once again, it's gone well, viral on the international newswire. You don't have to. Uh, you, you can. The fellow in China lighting his flatulence. So it's standing or whatever. Goes right. wrong. Oh, You're well, asking for trouble. No one was killed. Uh, that's, that's, that's the good news. Um, now. Uh, I will also remind you that uh, I, I believe, is today the shoe of the week? Am I correct? Yes. yes. Okay. And um, we're, we'll be speaking with one of our winners of the Big Green Egg Mini Max and the Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Oven Baked Bundle. He'll choose against Mr. Chick McGee. Right now, I want to thank the Raycon folks because of the Raycon earbuds, which I uh, carry around and use all the time. And I got my daughters the Raycon full headphones which were perfect for our trip, our recent holiday trip. He put those headphones on the girls. and Raycon has those. Not only gets, earbuds, Raycon nice, has those. It gets nice and quiet. They they, right. they tune into their whatever they're tuned into, and they leave you alone on the airplane. I highly recommend them. What have you got going? People! This is from Thomas. Just received my new pair of Raycon Everyday Headphones today. Paired them instantly with my computer via Bluetooth. They paired absolutely instantly. Plugged them into my TV, and they sounded wonderful on both devices. Thanks for recommending them, gang, and particularly Mr. McGee, since you talk about them on the show. He lives near uh, Syracuse, New York. Well, I got this one for Mike in West Des Moines, Iowa. He said, I didn't buy the Raycons until Tom told me the story of driving with his aunt in her car while she listened to Lawrence Welkin at the window <laughs> open going, <laughs> Yep, it's nice to have the piece from the Raycon earbuds. I love my Raycon earbuds. In fact, I've had mine for three years. That's Mike in West Des Moines, big fan. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever, and they fit every ear ever made with the optimized gel tips, and they will not budge. They will not fall out of your ears, and they give you eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, customizable sound. Uh, awareness modes, Raycons certainly have got it all at uh, around half the price of other premium audio brands. So, go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get a deal 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. 15% off all Raycon products. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Got some love for the uh, Bob and Tom players yesterday in, oh, in our, really? our episode of uh, The Golden Shower. Mm. Uh, we'll uh, perhaps get a chance to relive that coming up today. And if you want to make a request, Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, when we come back, I think we're going to get a song out of Mr. Godwin. You got your guitar in tune over there? I do indeed. All right. This is The Bob and Tom Show. Tavern, I stay mighty busy making drinks, but the phone, it never stops ringing. I love Tendon Bar. This job is really great. My customers are thirsty and I hate to make them wait. But it always seems the phone rings as I start to pour a beer. It's some fella asking me to page his friends. He says are here. Okay, buddy, you hold the phone and I'll check to see if they're here. Is Seymour butts around? Have you seen Dick Peter? Are you Jack Hinoff? Is anyone Sharon Peter? <laughs> Have you seen a Harry Beaver or you a Peter Stroker? And it seems like almost every night I'm paging Richard Smoker. <laughs> paging Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Uh, yeah, his uh, name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. can check back later. Could you find a hairy ball sack? Not right now, you
you'll have to call back. Silver Kraken, if you please. He's among the absentees. Do you know I'm on a wiener? Sorry, no, I haven't seen her. Phone rings. There it is. You know, this worked yesterday in rehearsal. I had. Does anybody hear the phone ringing? <laughs> I hear it. My headphones. You heard a phone oh, ringing? you hear the, oh, did you hear the phone ringing? Ring in your headphones? Wait a minute, ring it again. Did I answer it or not? <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, I, wait, I just heard it. Uh, hello, Charlie's Tavern. Uh, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> hello, Charlie's Tavern. I'm sorry, I can't hear. There's someone Speak up, Dan. clearing their throat in hello, my mic. Hello, Charlie's Tavern. What's the matter? It's a noisy as <laughs> Yeah. I was hoping you could paint somebody for me. Sure, who are you looking for? I'm trying to find a Mr. Padasso. His first name is Stuart, but they call him Stu. Oh. Stu Padasso? <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right, hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> hey, is there a stupid asso here? <laughs> right here. Does anyone know a stupid asso? He's over there. I see him. <laughs> see him I'm more. sorry. Right here. Someone said he just left with Haywood. <laughs> Haywood who? Uh, Haywood Jablomi. <laughs> no, but buy me dinner and drinks and, and we'll talk. <laughs> That'd that be a wild, well. that'd be a wacky twist, wouldn't it? Hey, Bob and Tom are hey. doing it. There's the phone. Oh, the phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. Uh, hello, Charlie's Tavern. Oh, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, could you pay someone for me? Uh, <laughs> sure. Who are you looking for? I'm uh, looking for a Miss Fingerdoo. Uh, what, do you want to kill her? Uh, first name, Wilma. <laughs> Wilma! Wilma Fingerdoo! <laughs> Uh, sorry, somebody says she's in the back room with Willie. Oh, uh, Willie who? Oh, uh, Willie Fisterbottom. Ooh, that's got to hurt, baby. Whoa. <laughs> what ethnicity was that supposed to be? hell <laughs> was that? I have no idea. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they call here several times a night, and it's always the same. He asked me if I'll page his friend, and then he says their name. Hey, is BJ Hunter there? Can you find a Peter Wanker? I'm looking for Amanda Kiss. Have you seen Woody Spanker? Paging Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Yeah, his uh, name is Richard, but we call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. Really? My song is nearly over now, so I'll cut to the quick. Who knew there were so many guys named Peter, Rod, and Dick? And if you see somebody, or if you need somebody, Paige, let me be quite blunt. Uh -oh. I'll try my best to find him, or my name's not Michael Hunt. <laughs> Paging Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Yeah, his name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a big dick smoker. Hey, G. Richard Smoker. Is Mike Hunt here? Jeez. <laughs> Paging Michael Hunt. It's Paging. not on the script. <laughs> Paging Michael. You're supposed to say. Paging Michael Hunt. Give me the Hunt. last part of the song again, would you please, Steve? You're supposed to say Paging Michael Hunt, then say. Richard Smoker. Mike Hunter. Hey, Richard Smoker. Oh, yeah, name is Richard. <laughs> they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. Hey, Richard Smoker. Paging Michael there Hunt. There we go. Paging Michael Hunt. Is Mike Hunt here? <laughs> <laughs> That went well. See that <laughs> really makes a difference when you <laughs> when you when set you it do up. That stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. to the Bob and Tom Show. Lots going on in sports. Uh, Dallas Cowboys making headlines. Uh, trade in the NBA yesterday. We'll, we'll talk about it. Uh, We're going to talk about it. Big one. Yeah, now, um, uh, also uh, coming up, we have uh, the uh, shoe of the week uh, uh, with uh, Chick McGee and uh, one of our uh, winners from the uh, Bob and Tom NFL
competition this year, and um, I'm not sure if it's really going to be Jeremy Childers of Marion, Ohio, or Spencer Suharski of Manton, Michigan, mm. both winners of the Big Green Egg Mini Max, and... Do they have the, a librarian in Marion? I bet they do. Oh. Marion. Yeah, Madam oh. Librarian. Home of the library. Um, <laughs> uh, let's, where was I? Um... Uh, oh, uh, oh, Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, also on the menu for those guys. But one of them is going to be our guest today. Also, Jeff Oske with uh, News We Failed to Mention, special Thursday edition. I'm very excited about that. Um, and we were talking about this uh, story. There's an update on the story. This actually came over the International Newswire um, involving uh, the uh, uh, igniting of flatulence. Which uh, w when I was in I was in school, I can remember someone said, "Yeah, you can actually uh, quote unquote light your farts." Mm -hmm. and That's I didn't one of the many reasons you should attend college. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is an Ivy, a well-rounded individual, Ivy League institution. This is yeah. the kind of thing we did in Carmen Hall. Uh, the um, it's possible. I I witnessed it for the first time. I'd never seen it in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was, it's amazing. I was stunned. When I, I thought they were. Oh, this is one of those things they're pulling my leg. It's a trick. Right. 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 But do you have the actual update yeah, here? the New York Post has an update regarding the man from China that we talked about yesterday who went viral for a flagellant's prank gone awry. Whoop! A video obtained by Southwest News Service shows the guy identified as Mr. Ben Tuzi lying on a bed as he prepares to break wind. His buddy, of course, ha uh, his hand appears in the frame with a lighter and ignites the flame just as Tuzi unleashes an audible blast of gas. A massive fireball suddenly engulfs the man's pants, causing him to roll around and slap his backside until the blaze goes out. A massive fireball. Yeah. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. Boys will be boys. But uh, this I guy guess. got his uh, gooch <laughs> singed medium Ooh. well. Ooh. Um if you've experienced it, it smells kind of like, Christy, you'll relate to this, a melted raclette. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? You're going to have to tell us what a yeah, raclette is. Yeah, what's the cheese. <laughs> you oh. never had that thing where they, you know, they melt the cheese in the little pads, and it's kind of like a fondue. You know, this is doubly, no, this is doubly I've never frustrating. Heard of this. Because you're over there laughing, having a good time, yeah. mentioning something that, I don't know, ha one half of 1% of people have heard of, <laughs> melted raclette. But if we start talking about anything that you haven't heard, you actually get visibly mad Listen, about it. You're the one that mentioned Myra Breckenridge earlier. That's right. Uh, uh, I. How do you spell raclette? Uh, I think it's probably R-A-C-L-E-T-T. R-E-C-L-O-T-T-E. -E. Um, uh, wow, never heard of that. The point is, if, if you've seen the video, there's this massive fireball emerging from his buttocks. Um, it's, it's, it's quite p profound. The old huh. <laughs> Why wouldn't you pull your pants down? Uh, Ace, I wasn't there. Um, well, I think that would when invite, I saw it in person, nobody was doing that. I think that would invite more damage. Yeah, I think that yeah. you, you would singe the hair. And I think you're bringing uh, you're bringing uh, Kool Aid to a gin party. What's going on there? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, if there's fire near your jeans or whatever, I don't know what you. <laughs> you're, well, then, I then think, there's fire near your testicles. You yeah, know? you think that it's going to go out? It doesn't. It kind of just hovers uh, around that area and and yeah, and wants to go back up in. Have you ever oh, I bet. Ace uh, at, at your house? Do you have a uh, uh, a gas thing on your fire? Fireplace, where no. you turn the key and then you put a lighter in and yeah, that's always fun. It was it, it, that's the, it's the same wonder effect. Wonder if my eyebrows are going to be you there turn, when I'm done. You, at, at my house. You turn the key, there's a key. You yeah. turn it, sure, and I then you, you hear like a little clicking, yep. and then you hold up one of those long uh, lighters, lighters up there, and then you kind of and then all of a sudden, it doesn't just like a little. There's this. Yes. It's, you know, what would you say? It's like a two-foot fireball. Yeah, like I said, I always <laughs> pray no, I have no, eyebrows. No. I don't well, it is at my place. Okay. That's what this looks, this guy's buns look like. And it they... smells like melted raclette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a fancy cheese? It is a Swiss dish popular in the uh, Al and other Alpine countries. It's kind of a ski thing. Based maybe. on heating cheese and <laughs> scraping off the melted part to typically served with boiled potatoes. Oh. Mm. Maybe it's just a ski thing I've done. I thought it was Yeah, we heard you the first relatable. time when you said R -A -C -L -E -T -T -E. it was a ski thing. -E -T -T -E. Okay, we heard you. Yeah, I've never heard of raclette. Well, speaking of Wisconsin it's cheese, pretentious. Um, uh, or Alpine cheese, we're, oh, we're going to yeah. be talking about Wisconsin cheese coming up. I'm very excited about our friends at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. 
as uh, Josh pointed out over the weekend, you gave yourself a cheese education. Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more about it coming yeah, up. You were telling me about that. That mm -hmm. sounds delightful. Um, here's what it sounded like, by the way, the uh, igniting of the uh, flatulence. We have a little bit of audio. Oh, whoa. <laughs> louder than I thought. <laughs> Boy, that, I can't believe he survived. Man. I think you might have July 16th, 1945. Alamogordo, New Mexico. When first Yikes. nuclear explosion. I think that might be. Like some testing is well, about, what would you say, 45 seconds after we see it? That's right. We hear that? Well, well, the sun is... rose twice that day, my friend. Yes. <laughs> here's, here's a relatable to this topic of, light, of lighting one's flatulence. Okay. Okay, let's just give this a short listen. Here we go. And now, the Bob and Todd Show presents yet another edition of Why the Internet is Much Better Than the Radio. Today's episode, Flaming Flatulence. <laughs> okay, here's a bunch of guys at work, but uh, they're not really working. Looks like they're all gathered around good old Lenny's computer again. You see, Lenny has high-speed internet at work so he can access the company email. <laughs> That's a good one. You see, Lenny stumbled upon a great new video site. Let's listen in. Hey, you guys, you got to see this. Check this out. What, what, the, what, what the hell is he doing? It looks like I think he's going to light a fart. <laughs> he's got to be drunk. <laughs> There's no doubt. Oh, he's naked. Uh -huh. No! 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 Unbelievable. He doesn't have any hair left. <laughs> and now, here are the same guys here in the same gas blast, but on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. What was that? Uh, uh, I got a meeting. Yeah, they took some uh, cake left for the break. Uh, whose birthday is it? I don't know. I, I think it's some guy's last day. Well, there you go. <laughs> that the Internet's a lot better than the radio. Hell, that Internet's the best day. Thing going, if you ask me. <laughs> Especially at work. <laughs> work. Oh, God, you gotta see this one. Okay. Um. If you, I, I just pulled this up on the New York Post. Look at this. It's a fireball. Yeah. Yeah. It caught. It, it caught. Looks like it caught something on fire there. What? what his, is the, pants. his pants. Oh wow. His pants are on fire. Yeah. The old hibachi yeah. and the crotchy is a good pants are on fire. Yes. Yikes. Yeah, well, um, that does seem like a, a lot of flame. Yeah, it for does. A, for a fart. Well, it, that, that's the pants on fire, yeah. That's not what came out of his body. <laughs> well, where, well does it, where does it stop and where does it... Well, here's where it started. See, that seems like a lot to that, me. It's, it's a pretty good... You yeah. can see why it uh, went yeah. internationally viral. Yeah. Well, in, in any event, um, I we'll, that on we'll have another you uh, another tribute to that coming up. In the meantime, we head over to the sports desk. What with sort of uh, what sort of what would have to be happening so that you would? Uh, I don't think it would ever. Okay, hold it. I, I'm going to fart. Give me the somebody. Give me a lighter. When we did it, it was the goal. It was let's let's actually try this. Oh, yeah. So would you? Uh, your diet, it would be okay. This, I, Eat we, a lot of beans first. I yeah. had a lot of beans no. yesterday. Well, I mean, this so. is what's the whole thing about the, the the world of cows? There's concern worldwide methane. that the amount of flatulence that the cows and release, pigs, me yeah. methane, is flammable. Mm -hmm. That's so, true. Um, they, you can, I guess, capture it in a human being and l let it rip. Seems like we could use that for heating oil or something. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Not sure, I'm not I mean, sure there's enough the, of it. I, other than the maybe, odors, I, maybe just let's, let's go nuclear and build some, we get some real power. Uh, this uh, out of uh, Arlington, Texas, yesterday. Mike McCarthy, coach of the Dallas Cowboys, can say that for next season too. That's right. He's going to get another chance Ooh. to end that nearly 30-year stretch without a deep playoff run for the Dallas Cowboys. Owner and general manager Jared Jones says McCarthy will be back for a fifth season to coach after that stunning 48-32 wildcard loss to Green Bay. The Cowboys were the first number two seed to lose to the last team to get into the playoffs since the 14-team format was adopted in 2020. They haven't been past the divisional round since 1995. That was when Dallas won the last of their five Super Bowl titles. Uh, Jared Jones says it's a great benefit to have the continuity of Coach McCarthy come back and be in charge of the team. Mm. So there you go. Ruining 
my sports <laughs> broadcasting viewing today. Oh, Everyone uh, will be talking about this and what went wrong and why why didn't they fire him? This, well, do you, that, do you think that uh, he's to blame? Was that a coaching failure? <sighs> I don't know. I I have no idea. I don't know what happened. I don't think I don't care for the Cowboys. I've asked that question. I think that's a bigger question. I think there are more people happy the Cowboys lost than if they if they would have won. I think you're right. I, there, I think there are more anti fans for Dallas than our four fans. Who sells the most merch? Uh, Packers, uh, uh, Steelers, Cowboys. Really? Right there. Yeah, yeah. Those are the top three. Okay, sure. Very yeah. interesting. I, I don't know. Don't take that to the bank. I was so, asking somewhere somewhere around there. Okay. And uh, Pascal Siakam was traded from the uh, Toronto Raptors to the Indiana Pacers yesterday. Uh, he was with Toronto for eight years and a two-time uh, All-NBA selection, two-time All-Star, and he won a championship with the Raptors back in 2019. His nickname is Spicy P. Yeah. Oh, you knew it. You know about this. Spicy P, absolutely. I'm, I'm so really? excited it's that you know about this. Such a great nickname. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, like Lefty or... Or Scoots or <laughs> Spicy P, huh? That's wonder where cool. I got that. Cool nickname. They refer to, he's uh, quite very reserved off the court, I guess, the, uh, near as I can tell. And, but he's uh, very enthusiastic and spicy, if you will, ah, on the court. Gotcha. Yeah. Just a cool nickname. It's a new one. Spicy Different. P. Different. Yeah. But speaking of uh, Spicy P, oh, we boy. have... Um, Does uh, spicy food make your urine spicy? Uh, I, I think so. We I have, would think so. We have an unusual story about urine in the news coming up you know, in one of uh, several unusual stories about uh, airlines today. Hmm. Well, why wait? What are you talking about? Or we're not, we're uh, not well, ready yet? If you want to go for it, uh, we had a uh, incident in an uh, international uh, airline uh, in a long flight. Uh, Christy, do you have that? Qantas story? has granted two flight passengers a refund after they were forced to sit in seats that were soaked in urine. Oh. According to the couple from New Zealand, they settled in <laughs> for a nine-hour flight from Bangkok to Sydney. Uh -huh. But after a few hours, found that the belongings they had placed on the floor were wet and stained. Oh, no. The couple assumed, as all of us would, that it was water. But later found a pair of children's underwear under the seat, realized it was urine from a passenger on the previous flight. Yeah. The flight yeah. attendant supervisor allegedly offered the couple 10,000 Qantas points. How about $10,000? Which the couple <laughs> said did not make up for the fact that they were sitting in biohazard waste. Yeah. Qantas initially refused to refund the couple, but after no. the airline was contacted by the New Zealand Herald about the matter. And now here's open-minded about the airlines, Josh Arnold. Josh? It these people should be given that plane. <laughs> and, and a koala. Uh, the customers were given an apology and a refund as a gesture of goodwill. All right. All we are saying is give piss a chance. Peas, peas a chance. <laughs> so, so it was a toddler then? Yeah. yeah. I guess, but their seats were full of urine. Well, well, well the, the staff should have cleaned it. Uh, but how would they know? Uh, no, no. You check under the seats every fly, in between every yeah. flight. They better... Well, um, they were. So, I could see how it would get past you. you they're saying the kid had peed seat. on the seat, so yeah. they were sitting in it. And, yeah, um, apparently. Oh. But at least they gave the kid the entire coke. That's a plus. That's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> they never give you the whole thing. Would you rather have that or have the door fall off? Uh, uh boy. This, this I don't think that. Uh, well, I, I'm in the minority. I don't think the door falling off was a big deal. They didn't get up to high enough to. You know, it was a problem. They went right back down to altitude, and everything was fine. Well, wing falling off. Now you got my attention. <laughs> okay, but it's sitting here. And line. I don't know how somebody got their clothes sucked off their body. I don't. Is that because like because of the pressure? No, it's a, like how loose do you wear your clothes? You <laughs> well, can't get this shirt off me if they're uh, this place with no. Way. It would take four men to yank that shirt off of you. You're yeah, damn right. True. But it did happen to somebody. <laughs> It did. Well, it was a kid. Like, well, that, that well, kid probably was the same one that pissed on a seat. No, it's not the same one. That's the, the problem. Same. Kids. Curb, curb your children. They shouldn't be allowed to fly. Curb them. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to sit, sit in urine, <laughs> maybe take the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Those are rough. <laughs> Odds are, Pat, you want to take that? Yeah, they're, they're rough. You know, you don't see that much anymore. Children on leashes. Not yeah, very often. I, I saw to, it at the airport a couple of months ago. I, but. Used to, I used to see it quite often. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And by the way, how do you make a reservation on Qantas? I I fly. I don't quite fly a lot, but I fly sometimes. Yeah. I go to one of those, you know, the, what are the best, and it spits out all these airlines. Never, Qantas never comes up. Hmm. Certain you're not, region you're, you're not going to? You're not I flying guess. to Australia. Is that is it only Australia? Why do, Why can't they handle other well, flights? They, they, I'm sure they have other ones. <laughs> this one was... Um, other than the plane has to be upside this down. This airline was um, um, Incontinental. <laughs> Uh, the airline. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Incontinental Airways. Now, didn't they? Uh, <laughs> didn't that airline merge with another airline? Yeah. Way back when? Uh, they I moved the, the, the Irish airline Aer Lingus. Uh -huh. Oh, Aer Lingus. Yeah, yeah. yeah Incontinental Lingus. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> well, Incontinental Lingus. <laughs> Boy, that's a. That's that's a you you got to want it. Uh, that's a niche uh, market <laughs> there. Really be liquored up. There are. Uh, there's 30, 40 people right now. All right. They're going to talk about Finally. it. Finally. I told you. <laughs> Pee on my face. Here we go. Oh, no. oh come on. Like oh. now. Yeah, boy, Miss Prude over yeah. here. Sorry. What's your problem? Oh, my God. Uh, now, we were talking about um, the, uh, the, the fellow who uh, lit his uh, flatulence, if you will. He's mm -hmm. a fella. And that it uh, smelled like a... Uh, Yes. What does it smell like? Burning Tom? raclette. I, burning raclette. That's a cheese reference. That Man, I, that, I'm glad I learned something today. There That's exciting. Well, speaking of cheese. Yeah? Josh had a, a cheese education weekend that was very impressive, and he shared it with us. Thanks to our friends at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Dear God, you've got to try this stuff. Yeah, you really do. You're going to love it. Artisan meats, quality cheese, the freshest curds you've ever tasted. And boy, oh boy, do we have a special announcement for you today. It's their brand new limited time flavor of Gardner's Squeaky Fresh Cheese Curds. And I'm going to have a little game here in a second. You guys are going to choose. Well, you're going to uh, see if you can just figure out what the new flavor is. Okay. Those squeaky curds, uh, right now, they come in white cheddar and garlic dill flavor in perpetuity. Those are made fresh in the morning, most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. Boy, they also have that amazing oven-baked cheese that arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, scale it, air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Oh, man, ooey-gooey spicy cheese. You can keep your raclette. Give me some of that. Mm. Perfect to serve during football season jalapeno now available in their oven baked bundle package try them all now are you ready for the brand new flavor reveal yes this is your hint yes. all right be smart uh-huh go to the grill with sauce honey cheese you got half of it right honey barbecue mm. yes oh Honey barbecue Darn. cheese. Honey yeah. barbecue yeah. cheese curds. Now, they're only my heart. available through January 23rd. Order yours today. My gosh, do not miss out on this wonderful limited time flavor. Honey barbecue mm. cheese curds mm. at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese.com. Try them out. You'll see the difference. After I had some of that eight year old cheddar i went okay this is what cheese is i've been uh -huh. doing it wrong for 45 years <laughs> it's not the stuff with the uh plastic top that that's you right put on a cracker that it foams <laughs> like your shaving cream that's not real cheese stay yeah. away from whatever that is <laughs> yeah you don't want that cheese always a great idea especially gardeners and especially during the football viewing time right now receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend 59 dollars or more at gardeners wisconsin cheese.com don't forget through january 20 23rd honey barbecue cheese curds. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese.com. Oh, thank you very much. Tom, Come on. Can you do me a favor yes. the next time we go to lunch uh, when they have, you order a cheeseburger and then they ask you what kind of cheese you'd like? Raclette. <laughs> Will you say raclette for me, please? Oh, that would be the best. And then when they look at you like, what the hell? Who's this damn guy? You go, oh, well. You haven't heard of raclette. <laughs> it's quite popular in the ski opre. I don't you, know. you mean opre ski. Whatever. I'll be right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1-8. Girl, the food was great, the company even better. Why sit here all night long, going on about the weather? I know it's our first date, and good girls gotta wait. But I just turned 83, and you said you're 78. No. 
know what I'm thinking. Let's make love. We're old and we're shrinking. The hour's late. Let's just do it on our first date. Larry, the cable guy. Larry, good morning. It's good to see you. But I, I gotta tell you, I had a horrible nightmare. Last night? Last night. Really? Before I come in here, I dreamt I drank the world's largest margarita. Uh -huh. And uh, woke up this morning, they were soft on the toilet lid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't eat the worm in there, I'll tell you that much. i tell you what, i tell you, I was madder than a skinhead watching the Jeffersons. i tell you what, i tell you what. <laughs> Hey, Bob and Tom Show USA. <laughs> Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Larry King. Wow. Larry. 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 Nice to see you. Let me sit down here. Oh, Ouch, oh. my back. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, you know, you're giving off a weird vibe when the Walmart greeter tells you to pound sand up your butt. <laughs> Hey, what's with Cher and the sunny thing all of a sudden? Would somebody tell you, tell me, anything? Uh, anybody else now think the C word was invented because of her? <laughs> Cher, of course. Of course, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. And how about that Carol Channing thing, huh? Yeah. I guess she was singing Hello, Dildo. <laughs> Hello, Dildo. Yeah, man. Hello. <laughs> only got stuff. married. Only got it twice in her twice life. in forty-one, 41 years of marriage. Of marriage. Wow. wow, she needs Viagra. And I said it before, but never, never address an Indian in war paint as Chief Big Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do don't it. Do and it. finally, I gotta say, I gotta say, kids, <laughs> it's been a stone gas being here. By the way, uh -huh. I gotta say, this body piercing craze is getting out of control. You know, studs through the tongue, sure. rings through the nose, right. eyebrows, the nipples, the belly button, and now a series of interlocking rings and hoops through my schwantz. <laughs> oh, did I say my schwantz? <laughs> oh, somebody stop me. You know how <laughs> you know how embarrassing it is to go through the metal detector? <laughs> I'm sure. Larry King, you've got a solid nickels worth, kids. Thanks. I'm out. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out, Larry. I got to catch a play. Uh, thanks very bye much, bye. Larry. <laughs> We have good neighbors. They're bad neighbors, but they're good to tell you guys about. <laughs> bad neighbors. Five or six cars in the front yard at all times. Rotation, whoever's currently living there. And Daryl, he's the dad over there. He's their leader. <laughs> he drives a hearse. That's his car. He doesn't work at a funeral home. <laughs> they have German shepherds that run. I like dogs. I don't like these dogs because... The they just let them run around barking all the time, and they, they don't even tell them to be quiet. Like, they bark, and there's a new guy that's moved in on the other side of them, and he really doesn't like when they bark. So you hear them bark, 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 and then over the fence you hear, Shut up! <laughs> Which always works, doesn't it? <laughs> you know when you tell your dog to be quiet, and he's like, Oh, pardon me, sir. <laughs> I had no idea I was causing such a ruckus. I'll calm down post haste. You know how your dog always does that, right? So I don't like that he yells at the dogs. I don't like the dogs, but I don't like it yelling at the dogs. So they bark, 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 and I hear over the fence, shut up! So what I do is I go, no, you shut up! Don't you yell at them puppies, that's disrespectful. And then I just go in the house, right? <laughs> he doesn't know it's me. I go to the wrong one, and I'm the idiot. <laughs> You're supposed to be the idiot when he pooey, not when he pooey. It's going to be an hour and a half apart. They shouldn't sound exactly the same. <laughs> not ely, willy, pooey, willy, willy, polly. Uh, you know, I, I, well, I have a theory, and uh, I think everything in Hawaii was named by Mel Tillis in a hurry is what happened. They just brought Mel over. Mel, what'd you call that? Okay, come on over here. Pie, 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 pie. Mel, what would you call that big, beautiful bird? Well, I, 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 yeah, that's good. That's the I, 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 I. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. Yeah. Rick Schrader is our guest, uh, and uh, Rick is uh, on his uh, 
Well, frankly, you're on your second marriage. I don't know if I should bring this up. Yes, uh, yes, I am. Maybe men and women living together is just too much anyway. I think, you know, it's just too much pressure. I think men and women should live around the corner from each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much better let you call each other up every morning. Hello, you being a jerk? Yes, I am. Click, right? Let's you <laughs> go to a movie, you know, instead of uh -huh. getting up every morning and spinning the big pain wheel. <laughs> Today's mind game, vague remarks about your failures at work. Hey, right. Also with us, Christine Stedman. Now, you're a mom? Well, a mom and a grandma. I think you know that. I know. She's, I'm a grandpa. So this is how this works. Yep. She's been married 27 years and still a virgin. Tub. Yes. Well, you know, I have a, I have a lot of grandkids. My daughter keeps having babies. Has one almost every year. Really? <laughs> wow. Yeah. She called me the other day. She goes, "Mom, guess what? I'm pregnant again. There must be something in the air." I'm like, "Yeah, your legs." <laughs> <laughs> but seriously. Hello. <laughs> Bang. Hey, hello. Sing. Uh, I'm getting her fixed. Pizza Hut, apparently, Pizza Hut. is going to start delivering cold beer along with their food. No oh, kidding. Why? They started uh, the testing beer delivery program in Phoenix, Arizona. And it passed with flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone did. Yeah. So how do you prove that uh, you're, you're of illegal age? The company illegal. told Fortune Magazine it plans yes, to expand I'd that. I'd like a large <laughs> pizza, please, <laughs> and 40 beers. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney. Madigan and more. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello, hello. A shoe of the week coming up. Going to be talking with our winners, a couple of winners from uh, while we were on vacay. We'll see what they've got to think about uh, this week's playoff. Now, action. am I correct in saying that Chick McGee has personally posted on the uh, Chick McGee uh, X, formerly Twitter, et cetera, et cetera? Nope, Instagram. Instagram, sorry. Right. Um, you've posted your your picks already. Yep, it's at uh, the Chick McGee on Instagram. Now, without uh, going through all of them, is there one you're especially confident of? Is there one you feel this is the one that the 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 uh, the pundits have wrong? Nope. Oh, no, okay. I mean, uh, no. I, I think uh, I think the Bills finally are are going to dispatch the uh, Kansas City Chiefs uh, relatively easily. I'm and going to say. And have we looked at the that's forecast? Sunday night. Uh, they might have some snow on the ground, but. Uh, I think the game is going to be okay. Uh, okay. Six thirty Sunday night All Eastern right. time. A lot of numbers in the world of football, of course. Oh, a lot and of that leads numbers to this, on the players. Uh, that leads yeah. to this. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Numbers on jerseys. We have a cool jersey story coming up. But right now, we have a letter. This comes to us from Donna. Oh, Donna. Donna. That's a terrible oh, song. What's wrong with O'Donna? <laughs> Everything stinks. Richie Valens? Uh, uh, that was a true love story. He loved her. True he love. First did. love of his life. What a song about it. He, he was probably it. thinking about it. Yeah, God he, hated it. When, when he hit the ground? Um, God hated the song. That's why he crashed the plane. <laughs> <laughs> this is not from Donna. Okay. <laughs> well, then why would we bring up Donna? He just doesn't want us to sing again. He just oh. says, don't use my name, please. Oh, geez. Oh, oh, Donna. God, I should, pro I should proofread these things. Sorry, Donna. <laughs> well, it could be anywhere. It could be any Donna. Sure, there could are be a lot Donna. of Donnas. This just happens to be Donna and Dayton. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, we don't no. have a city, do we? We no, have a good we city. Don't, we do not. We have a last name, which I will not read or say what letter it starts with. Is it a common last name? Is it F? Is it uh, like no. Wilson? Or uh, I, we recently had a meeting at our office regarding the new hybrid scheduling. And employees are not meeting their 50% of hours in the actual office. You following me here, Christy? Yep. Okay, a lot of uh, places now you've got to be at your place of business. Right. Um, the meeting went something like this. 53% of you are only meeting your hybrid hours 38% of the time. All I could think about was Todd Snyder and his song about statistics. If you have time, please play that. For all the employees who have to put up with corporate meetings, yikes. Um, this is a this is a classic. Uh, Todd, if you ever get a chance to see him, highly recommended. He's uh, especially well-known on this show for the great song uh, Beer Run. But uh, he's got a, just a, a tremendous repertoire of both serious and uh, light music for you. And this is all about uh, statistics. They say 3% of the people use 5 to 6% of their brain. 97% <laughs> use just 3% and the rest goes down the drain. I will never know which one I am, but I'll bet you my last dime. 99% think with 3%, 100% of the time. <laughs> 
write that down. Like, they say 72% of all statistics are made up right there on the spot. 84.4% of people believe them, whether they're accurate statistics or not. Now, I will never know what you believe, but I do know there's no doubt I need another double shot of something. 90 proof, this is too much to think about. It's too much to think about. Too much to figure out. Stuck between hope and doubt with too much to think about. They say 92% of everything you learned in high school was bull crap that you will never need. 82% of everything you got, you bought just to satisfy your greed. Because 94% of the entire population links possessions to success. Even though 80% of the wealthiest 1% of the population drinks to an alarming extent. It's too much to think about. Too much to figure out. Stuck between hope and doubt, I've got too much to think about. 82% of all statisticians truly hate their freaking jobs. <laughs> the average bank robber lives within, say, about 20 miles of the bank he robs. There's this little bank not far from here I've had my eyes on now for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Lately, all I can think about is a going out in style. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much to think about, too much to figure out. Stuck between hope and doubt, it's too much to think about. <laughs> all right, thank you, Tom. <laughs> 53% of you are not getting 50% of your time. It's, it's too much to think about. Uh, we have Chick McGee at the sports desk. What have we got to think about over there? Uh, let's see. Uh, the manufacturer of that helmet that uh, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes shattered during the AFC wildcard game that. last week uh, with the Miami Dolphins. I don't know if you saw yeah, this, sure. John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you, you, well, it, was, it was part of the, it was because of the cold temperatures, right? Partially, yeah. Uh. Absolutely. But the helmet said that the helmet manufacturer... It did its job by protecting yeah. Mahomes on a helmet-to-helmet -helmet collision on Saturday night. The game was the fourth coldest in NFL history. Temperature at kickoff, four below. <laughs> Winds gusting to 25 miles per. Wind chill, 30 below. Um, the VICIS helmet that Mahomes was wearing said the extreme conditions are bound to test the limits of even the highest performing products. But the helmet still protected. And he didn't know it was cracked. The referees had to call him over and go, hey, you're missing a... And they they, oh. they tapped it. <laughs> oh, you feel no. your Oops. Head. You can feel your head. See that? That's my head, man. <laughs> yeah, so... Well, I think they're right. It did its job. He's okay. He's all right. He's okay. And Patrick Mahomes will be hitting the road for the uh, first time ever in the playoffs when the Chiefs visit the Bills in the divisional round on Sunday night. His previous 15 playoff games have been played at Arrowhead Stadium. In fact, Mahomes has only played in Buffalo once, winning that game in 2020 during the pandemic. Oh, I wonder what happened then. Mahomes and the Chiefs have ended uh, Buffalo season twice in the past three years. The first came in the AFC Championship game in the 2020 season. And the other the following year when they made a late field goal, Kansas City won in overtime. It's going to be a great game. What is the great spread weekend. on that one? Uh, the Chiefs are getting three in Buffalo. Wow. Some places you get three and a half. How do you feel about that, Chick McGee, uh, proprietor I, I like, of the shoeing of the week? I like the Bills by maybe a touchdown. I, mm. I like the Bills. I think they're getting it together. They, they, they found uh, an answer to the uh, defense, this, that, and the other, and here we go. Don't you think? Well, we'll look forward to uh, the picks show coming up later this morning uh, with uh, Chick McGee and the official shoe of the Week pick. Now, we're going to come back, and you know, I'm going to need your attention. Now, the Los Angeles Clippers are getting their very own arena coming up next season, okay? It's sponsored by Intuit. I don't know what they do, so don't ask. They had been sh uh, sharing crypto, formerly Staples, with the Lakers, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to have a brand new seating area uh, at the Clippers, and the one, the only Steve Ballmer, the owner of the Clippers. Do you remember him? Yeah, yeah. sure. He's uh, he's a guy that talks like he's got a living in a van down by the river. Well, I don't know about that. Let's see. You get up. We're going to know that you stood up. If, as long as you you want us to, you've got to give us the permission. Okay, more of that coming up, and uh, a very special. All right. Stop it! A very special. I live in a van down by the river. A very special seating. Okay, section good. Coming we'll look up forward for to Clippers that, fans. Certainly. Um, also, uh, coming up, we have etiquette in awkward situations, how to get out of them, and uh, we also have um, a penis enlargement surgery in the news. 
um, for one folk, one one fella, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> if it didn't work out real well. How about one guy? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, this is The Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out The Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is The Bob and Tom Show. Screen Door Productions presents A Day at Fergler's Hardware.
play-by-play play be something like, and Harvard's quarterback has dropped behind the line again for loss of 40. Harvard's, <laughs> <laughs> Harvard's man there, of course, is Chad Elmhurst. Chad is an academic All-American at Harvard, majoring in <laughs> physics with a minor in mathematics, and Bob, they tell me he's actually graduating a year early. <laughs> Yeah, he's not going anywhere right now because he was flattened by Big Moose McCauley. <laughs> Moose is a sixth-year redshirt freshman. <laughs> Major in scuba diving. And Bob, there's a nice shot in the stands of his wife and five kids. Yeah. He drives a Lexus. <laughs> Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Some might bug. Some for me. Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. We have just a few more minutes with uh, Kid Rock. And um, do you have a pre-show ritual of any kind? That's something that would be like a some a sports guy might put his socks on a certain way. Do you have two a... blondes on a sandwich? <laughs> Bob. <laughs> or a blonde sandwich. sandwich. And, uh, or a blonde sandwich. I, I uh, I'm not gonna no, put sorry. words in Mr. Rock's mouth. Like, not really, but this tour, since we got Reverend Run on with us, we always say a prayer. Which is kind of weird. Yeah. It's great. You know, we say a prayer and then I go out and sing like Devil Without a Cause and I want to... Mm -hmm. like I'm never going to sing yeah. again. <laughs> I well, go forth and multiply. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, attendance at church yeah. would be a lot better if they did that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there... Um, often with, with uh, uh, bands, there'll be one particular country, one like oddball country, yeah. where the, they're gigantic. Do you have any uh, particular spots where you're uh, bigger than elsewhere? Yep. Yeah. Louisville. <laughs> <laughs> it's right next to Liechtenstein, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's this weird country called Kentucky. <laughs> Tennessee. Uh -huh. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. A little bit. <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hi. Hey. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. And guess what, Chick? Malibu Pink, now available in Steven Singer Jewelers 24 karat gold. Roses, the number one gift for Valentine's Day, exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Steven Singer's on the uh, National Newswire this morning. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're going to find out why. Really? Did you see this story? Uh -oh. No. Oh, this is this is really something. Tell me. Tell we're, me more. We're going to hear about Steven Singer Jewelers. Uh, Steven Singer has uh, offered... A million-dollar diamond oh. engagement ring up. Oh, yeah, go uh, ahead, yeah. Uh, for uh, if one uh, Travis Kelsey... Travis Kelsey wants to ask uh, Taylor Swift to uh, marry him. Yeah. Really? Like a million dollars. Wow. But they're not dating. Oh. Thank you, Ace. It's very helpful. Um, uh, 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 there's a rumor that they're going to get engaged, and Steven Singer is a big fan, and uh, he's he's offered up a little something. Do you have the story over there? I wonder how many carrots that would be. A million, a million dollars? I mean, that's, you know, that would be, uh, that'd be a lot. Big. 7.5. Really? Says here. Uh, rumors of a potential engagement between Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, uh, Philadelphia-based jeweler Steven Singer, offering the chief star a million-dollar engagement ring fall free. Uh, Steven Singer told Page Six, quote, I recognize that the most renowned, renowned couple globally has an abundance of options when it comes to choosing engagement rings. Should they decide to tie the knot, if they do, I would be honored to help design a truly extraordinary ring exclusively for them. Wow. Mm. Your thoughts on wearing a free engagement ring, Christy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it's a tough gonna... call. Well, he Steven, well, I mean... said, Steven said he would donate the cost of the ring to a charity of oh, the couple's choice. That? If they... Oh, well, that was, that's, that's different. That's totally different. Yeah. Josh's head's going to come off his body. Yeah, that if he what did, that would be great if he did that. Yeah, yeah, but women would be upset if let's say a guy was offered, hey man, I can get you this five hundred thousand dollar engagement ring for free, and then you gave it to her. And she's and you, she found out that it was free. She'd be mad. Uh, maybe. All right. I don't. <laughs> I'm I don't know. I, ladies, I, I'm done. 
I'm out. I don't know out. about that. I know what, they whatever do that. You're, whatever you're doing out there, uh, I don't care for it. I'm, <laughs> I'm done with all of you. I think they get, I think they, <laughs> the ladies get the rings for f- the free on, on the, the Bachelor. Shows, yeah. 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 The um, the engagement rings are free. Singer, so I think they're uh, complaining. Singer continued as Tom said he would. Uh, Singer said he'd donate the cost of the ring to a charity of the couple's choice if they decide to pay for the ring themselves. And in terms of design, the jewelry expert uh, already has an idea what kind of ring Swift might want. Singer mm. suggested an Art Deco style, a seven and a half carat emerald cut, earthborn diamond ring, handmade in platinum, wow. with colorless, eye flawless, real diamonds. She's had a lot of high profile dating history. Has she ever been engaged? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't think so. But uh, hey, Stephen, interesting, Good interesting job, thought. Stephen. We'll yeah. see. We'll see Says here that. that um, their plans to get engaged could hinge on their one-year anniversary coming up in July. I'm not sure what they're <laughs> what they're celebrating, Ace. A one-year anniversary of what? I don't know. Gullible people. Gullible people. Okay, Ace claims they're not dating. Okay, go. Okay. Well, uh, right. congratulations, Stephen. We'll see what happens. I know for sure it won't be one of those lab-grown diamonds if I know Stephen Singer. Oh, he hates those. Uh, he does, he does, I, don't, I don't blame him. Uh, and we uh, covered this earlier. Dallas Cowboys will not be making a coaching change. Uh, has been announced Jerry Jones will retain coach uh, Mike McCarthy through next season. And Jason Kelsey spotted dropping off a gift for his favorite McDonald's employee. According to reports, the Eagles star stopped by a McDonald's in Broomhall to give uh, Ms. Danielle Bonham a signed jersey. Aww. In the two of his uh, number 62 jersey, Kelsey wrote to Danielle, go birds, thank you. According to reports, 36-year-old lineman has gotten to know Bonham through his repeated trips to McDonald's and even posed for photos with her from his car. Uh, as for Kelsey's decision on uh, retiring from football, uh, it's going back and forth now. It apparently sounds like he might not be retiring at all. He might be backing off from that a little bit, but we will see. It's a tough decision. Yeah, He's got to think about it. Yeah, initially, the, uh, said, my takeaway from this is, uh, hey, suck it, Tom Brady. Jason Kelsey eats carbs. Yeah, you go for it, buddy. <laughs> I don't know how, uh, when presented with a uh, quarter pounder with cheese and a large fry, I don't know what, what you would do other than <laughs> eat it as fast as you can. I don't know. Well, apparently if you gave it to a woman and she found out you got it for free, she wouldn't want it. <laughs> what is wrong oh, with you ladies? Oh, my goodness. He's stuck on that one now. Already. Yeah, he is. Uh, <clears throat> Pat? Yeah. You and Tom Brady can hang out, I guess, right? With the diet, diet same Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got the vegan, vegan thing going. Thing. Wouldn't you like to see Tom Brady get, like, up to 3, 325? <laughs> yeah, you know? Retirement's amazing. <laughs> just amazing. What have I been doing? Yeah. Carbs. I mean, Good he Lord. is retired. Why can't he have a cheeseburger? Maybe he does. Man, I can't wait till he starts broadcasting. That's going to oh, be. Oh, when's that start? It's going to be year, real right? interesting. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. He's probably going to school right now, more or less. Do you think he'll be good? I do not think he'll be good, but that's oh, just my opinion. So. Right. Although I didn't think, uh, I didn't like Tony Romo at first. No, he's okay. I don't need to who's say, your favorite, Jim? Uh, who's your favorite former player that is an announcer? Right now, Troy Aikman. Yeah, so Troy and Joe. Yeah. Uh, I bet they ski. Troy and Joe, I bet they probably take the wives and go on skiing trips oh. together. And uh, people skiing yesterday at Brid- Breckenridge Ski Resort in Colorado appears to uh, a rare snow nado yesterday. The video shows a so-called snow devil forming on the mountain before a mesmerized crowd earlier this week. It's a, kind of a whirlwind. Looks like a little mini tornado, but it's snow. Mm-hmm. Ah. You've seen those on the beach. Or sure, like the water spouts. Oh, yeah, water spouts, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But it's really, uh, really small. The really fun, the, tiny. It's just pretty funny to see some. There's some kid, you know, pizzaing down the hill, <laughs> zipping through the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, they got dumped on Colorado. It's great. What does pizza ing mean? Yeah, that's one of the um, ways that you. Uh, put these your... call it the snow plow, where yeah. you take your skis and they're, they're, the toes are pointed together in oh. a V. V. To slow down. Slow it looked like a slice of pizza Sorry. going down the hill. Hmm. And then French fries is when you're skiing with them parallel. Son of a gun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's uh, sorry. I can French fry. Maybe too inside. No, no, it's yeah, fine. It's, I think you, you, you too. Yeah, it's good to learn about polo it's and skiing. Yeah. yeah. Well, the snow makes you, like, you better people. There's right. no doubt about it. Snow NATO sounds really cool. I mean, it would have been really cool if there had been a shark in it. Oh man, a shark snow NATO. Yeah, but it's, it's, you know, it's, a snow NATO. It, it's it's snow NATO sounds like some kind of trick you'd see in the Olympics. Yeah. 
I don't want to buy it. Maybe a snowboarder doing a oh, snow- look at the snowado gnarly backflip. Yeah, uh, but yeah, kind of cool, kind of fun. Glad to see uh, Colorado getting dumped on finally. Some great, uh, great. You're gonna go back school. out. President's weekend's coming up. I'm looking at it. It's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, you should. Possibility. Where are you on snowboarders? I remember you were violently opposed to them uh, initially. Uh, they d- d- tend to be right. reckless and can't control themselves and <laughs> hit innocent skiers trying to. But go. other than that, you're you're for them. <laughs> can't they have their own separate hills? Some do. Mm. The stuff they do in the Olympics is really <laughs> remarkable. Isn't yeah, it, it is. Oof. Separate but equal hills. Yeah, that'd be a way to way to go. Okay. All right. There's certain places they're not allowed. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. Is that right? I didn't know that. Yep. I didn't know they actually banned them. Wow. Okay, here we go. Stupid world record. A man from Canada holds the Guinness World Record for the most mouse traps released on his tongue in one minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> man. The man calls okay. himself Sweet Pepper Klopek. His last name's K-L-O-P-E-K. Sweet Pepper Klopek. Sweet Pepper. He first broke the record in 2009. His most recent attempt, 2015, saw him release 58 mouse traps on his tongue. <laughs> so now, How does that work? Well, see, here's the... I, uh, ideally, they don't... Uh, ideally, you can get your tongue out before they close on it. So you, 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 he sets them up. Wait a minute. And then what? you take your tongue and you go. So you're trying to dodge them? You're trying to. You're trying to trip the. So he's just activating them. Okay. In other words, the, the, oh, this is the old fashioned. What do they call them? The one with, that has the bar yeah. that flips over the spring loaded yeah. mouse traps. Right. Does he eat the cheese in each one of them? Uh, <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> uh, the idea is to like not li- get your like tongue lizard. caught. Yeah, and uh, then of course they show him and he's got a bloody tongue. I was gonna so. say, how often does he get a- Man. it? Man. Um, okay. That's got to hurt. That's a st- so it's not like it traps the tongue. He has to pull no, it off and no, do no. another one. That's a it's, stupid the idea is record. He takes his tongue and you know, does one yeah. of these. How very, many? Very popular with the ladies. Uh, probably. Uh, in, 58. In, wow. Yeah, so it's essentially every second he's. That's crazy. Tonguing a mouth. <laughs> Ace, your thoughts? <laughs> no, I was trying to visual, visualize. You put the cheese on a, like a. a uh... Like a guillotine thing. It's like. Yeah, a... and then it. Comes down, so you, if it closes, you're getting it from both ends. Um, if it closes, yeah, you're going to get your tongue whacked yeah. very, very hard. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, and this is. Uh, I got to see this one. Yeah, this isn't as exciting as the uh, nutsack record. Oh, <laughs> that was that was very. I was with, on the edge of my seat yes, watching with, that with with rat yeah, traps. That would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> rat yeah. traps. Uh, oh, I thought you bear traps. You're going bear traps <laughs> with your yeah. testicles. You'd like this guy's look, Ace. He looks very heavy metal. <laughs> Got long hair and then a, a beard with uh, the mustache shaved off, kind of like a big handle on his face. Looks like a real real badass. You'll see Everett Coop. Is the of. tongue uh, the tongue is the quickest healing uh, part of the body? Right? Is that so. true? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty hurt. sure the, the yeah. tongue and the uh, anus. Oh my! Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He looks like a, like a badass rocker. Yeah. Uh huh. Little Neil Youngy. Yeah. There you um, go, so uh, no. Uh, 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 coming up in sports, what have you got over there? Uh, we'll wrap her up, Tom. Maybe we'll re- review the uh, shoeing of the week before we start uh, talking with the winner. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. That's exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> now, um, also coming up, we got to get that song from Mr. Godwin. Ready to go. We have etic- etiquette uh, in awkward situations. You forget someone's name or someone starts picking on you. How do you handle that? And uh, penis enlargement in the news. We'll find out about whether or not that's... You have no need it. for that, of course. No. There's no uh, way Absolutely. Well, Forget you've heard that. of Locks for Love where you donate... Uh, is that where you are in your life? Oh, you've done really? similar. Uh, you have enough to <laughs> yeah. donate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, I want to talk about something else. He's a giver. <laughs> <laughs> the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You having a good uh, 2024 so far? Let's keep it up. You're crushing it. Uh, around New Year's, uh, a lot of us make resolutions and decide to change ourselves, maybe fix ourselves a little bit. Therapy can be very helpful in that quest. And BetterHelp has a great idea when it comes to therapy. How about making it a lot more accessible, a lot more convenient, a lot more flexible? And BetterHelp does just that. How does it do it? Well, how, how do they do it, I should say? Uh, you fill out a brief questionnaire, you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. And by the way, you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Then the therapy itself is done online. 
So it can be done uh, uh, like you're on a phone call or like it's a Zoom call where you can see the therapist or even just texting back and forth. It's all about whatever works for you. And it's about, of course, flexibility and convenience. So if you've been thinking about that, uh, give yourself a break. Celebrate the progress you've made in rocking it in uh, 2024 with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp. Dot com slash BT show and this portion of the Bob and Tom show sponsored by better help. Once again, uh, coming up, we have um, changing the name of a street in the news once again. And uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of wisdom from the Pope is in the news today and it involves porno. This is the Bob and Tom show. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller and you are listening to Bob and Tom radio. Screen Door Productions presents A Day at Fergler's Hardware, Part 2. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles.
make sure they don't suck on any of that balloon air, if you know what I'm saying. Anesthesia City, open every day, 10 until 10. Nine. <laughs> I'm in for girls saying, so what's it going to take for me to put you in a coma today? <laughs> Hi, this is Paul. And this is Storm. And we're Paul, Paul and Storm. Storm, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray to you, Lord, my soul to keep. And if I should die before I wake, I pray, dear Lord, my soul to take. But the prayers don't make me sleepy. I lay here tossing and turning with a fire down below that just keeps on burning. I could do what I think is natural, but one of my biggest fears are my dearly departed grandmother's words still ringing in my ears. Can't get to heaven with your hand on your no-no place. <laughs> your no-no's not a playground. Stay in a state of grace. You can't get your wings. Sing heavenly psalms. You'll just go blind with hairy palms. No, you can't get to heaven with your hand on your no-no place. Remember now, all your dead relatives are watching. <laughs> oh, religious. Just uh, peace. <laughs> Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must what be the... oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that... Are you kidding? I, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're... <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We do have a sports addendum uh, just for Tom. Coming right up. Hello, Tom. How are you? About Spicy P? Nope, not about Spicy P. Oh, okay. Right. Pascal his, uh, Siakam. His, uh, his cousin, the adult film actor, Spicy D. <laughs> oh! Mexican heritage. <laughs> <laughs> really? Spicy D, you see it's Yeah. <laughs> Los Angeles Clippers finally going to have their own home starting next season. After sharing crypto with the Lakers since 1999, the Clippers are moving into a brand new stadium, the Intuit Dome. Uh, as they said off the air, what are the Intuit responsible for? Just to name a couple. Uh, TurboTax and some other. TurboTax. Uh, uh, that's right. $2 billion arena located in Inglewood will seat approximately 18000 the team also announced details of an exclusive section of the arena called the wall. Will be uh, that there's the wall right there. That's behind one of the baskets. Yeah. Dude, it's cool. And to help Tom along, here's the Steve Ballmer that Tom wants to hear. I have these notes, but I gotta say I'm just fired up to be here today. It's pretty cool. This is the owner. Cool. Owner of the Clippers. Steve Palmer. I mean, he, he, he sounds like he's about to talk about his van living in a van down by the river. And okay. now here's Steve that Tom didn't recognize, but I assure you it is Steve Ballmer. And here he is talking about the wall. You get up, we're going to know that you stood up. If, as long as you, you want us to, you've got to give us the permission. We'll know that you get up. We know that you cheer. We know how loudly you were cheer. If you're, if you're good on those things, we can give you a little discounts around the shop <laughs> just to, to reinforce that excellent behavior. They want you to be proactive in a section called the wall is what they're saying. It'll be 51 uninterrupted rows of passionate Clippers fans behind one of the baskets, including a standing only section to house 300 of their most energetic fans who will cheer loudly. It'll hold up to 4,500 fans. The section is for Clippers fans only. If you choose to be a part of the wall, you and your guests can't cheer for the opposing team, and you can't wear any gear of any other team other than the Clippers. A lot of rules. Any fans who break the wall code will lose access to the section. Or do what they do at Dodger Stadium. They'll just have the crap beaten out of them and being hospitalized. I'm just well, I'm just happy to hear that somebody from California actually wants to build a wall. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> see Dod Dodgers in the parking lot. Uh -huh. See a Dodger Stadium. They're famous for. <laughs> no, no, no. Beating, you don't have to explain. They're famous for oh beating the hell out of the opposing team. Fans. That's kind of a, that's a fun thing. 
That, it looked cool in the picture that we saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is fun. It's just fun. a sea of fans. And you have to be approved to buy tickets in that section. You have to be approved? Yeah, yeah that's what the, oh. go, go on the website. <laughs> <laughs> there. That doesn't what seem fair. What are the parameters of that? It's their team, they can do anything they want. It's restricted. All right. Any celebrities, uh, any famous celebrities, Clippers fans? Della Reese. Oh, oh, that's shit. true. That's, that's true. <laughs> Della Reese. She yes. was a lifelong Clippers fan? Yep. Is she Look. still alive? God, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Who played Laverne? She was always courtside at the old arena. Who? Uh, Laverne. Uh, Either Penny Marshall or Cindy... Penny Marshall Williams. was Laverne. Yeah. The Cindy bottom. Williams was... Uh, Shirley? Shirley. That's it. Hi. There you uh, go. I'm that's, sorry. Uh, that, that's our sports addendum? Yes, that's okay. it. Okay. Well, that's for that's you, it. Steve Ballmer. Okay, thank you very much. Remember cool Steve stuff. Ballmer yelling and I screaming? I have these notes, but I got to say, I'm just fired up to be here today. <laughs> that's right, man. I'm just fired up, baby. Uh, uh, Crazy. Uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Where to go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. Christy. Uh, we continue with airline passengers this morning. One trapped inside a plane's bathroom for an entire flight. According to the <laughs> Indian Express, the passenger aboard a flight from Mumbai to Bengaluru went to the bathroom soon after takeoff, but was unable to get out. Oh. Flight crew tried to help, but after several failed attempts, slid a note under the door that read, <laughs> <laughs> quote, Sir, we tried our best to open the door. However, we could not. Do not panic. Oh, we are landing in a few minutes, so please close the commode lid and sit on it and secure yourself. You know, it doesn't sound <laughs> terrible, actually. I, oh, I, I knew you were going to have a lot more I, room in the bathroom. More room, less people. Uh, no, I'd be terrified. Oh, I'd be claustrophobic, yeah. The man who but I'm been... already claustrophobic on a plane. Really? Mm. Kind of, yeah. It's, Me too. They're so yeah. small. The man who had been stuck for about an hour was rescued once the plane landed and engineers broke down the door. The airline known as SpiceJet. <laughs> what is going on with all the spice this morning? Has since confirmed the incident and spice said it would provide jet. a full refund to That's the passenger. Sounds like a stripper airline. SpiceJet, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a fat Spice Girl. Spice. Here comes Spice Jet. Uh, <laughs> spice Ship. So this poor guy had to sit on the toilet. Yeah, during yeah. landing. And there's, uh, there's obviously no seatbelt in there. No, but no. those barely do anything anyway. Oh, well, I would think of the plane <laughs> at the altitude save issue. You. The poor guy. Although well, still probably more comfortable than the middle seat. Oh, <laughs> yes. absolutely. I, I, yes. I'd give him that. I, um, Wash his hands whenever he so wants. So did they give him, they just gave him a refund? Yeah. Next time, is he going to get to fly first ass? First ass? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> but, geez, it's in a butt. It's got his butt in there. Trapped it's in a jar. Trapped in, trapped in a jar. I, Take me like a dog, <laughs> Elvis. Right yeah, there in the bathroom. I, 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 do, I hate going to the bathroom on planes. Oh, yeah. You got to really oh, punch over. That's not fun. Don't I don't know how some people do it. I'm a and I've rather never, small person, and I barely fit in I've there. I've never had to do a major transaction on a plane. No. God, oh, no. I haven't either. Don't do that. God, no. 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 That would be just the worst. It's not easy. You've done it? Yeah. Yeah, flying home from uh, Korea. No I kidding? To, uh, mm -hmm. wow. A long flight, I would think. You're an American hero if you can do that. Yeah, and then I think once flying, I, when I flew to Singapore, it was 22 hours. Oh. Um, something like that. And so, Ugh. yeah. But they, hours. you know, the bathrooms were a little bigger on that flight because it was a, such a long international flight. But no, uh, still, I got a story for you, actually, Josh, because you were in fact a, a, an English teacher in South Korea. Yeah, for a while, I, you may you may have already seen this. This is from the BBC headline: Student sue teacher after exam ends ninety seconds early. Oh wow! The student is suing the they teacher. They didn't give him enough time to finish the test? Is that uh, what according to the BBC, the country's infamous college admission test. Oh, man. Uh, known as, uh, how do you pronounce this, Sun Yang. In South Korea? It's an eight-hour test yeah. in multiple subjects. And uh, it's considered to be one of the most difficult exams in the world for right. any university placement. Man. 39 students claim in their lawsuit that the bell rang early during the first subject of the test and that they were uh, shorted 90 seconds. Hmm. They're asking for $15,000 plus each the cost of studying to retake the exam. Yeah, those things, when any time you, you met a kid who was getting ready to take, they, there was, Aww. the stress was just unbelievable. These poor Aww. kids. Because <laughs> yeah. over there, it wasn't so much about... Um, you know, doing well in college, it was just getting in. So if you got into college, college was a breeze. You didn't, your grades did not matter really. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
uh, it was just the test was in. just getting mm-hmm. in. Yeah, gotcha. Well, they're suing, so we'll, well see. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see, see what happens. That. Ninety seconds of not, shorted ninety seconds on one exam. <laughs> you wouldn't seem that it doesn't seem like a lot, but I bet that's yeah, two answers. Yeah, ninety seconds. Ninety sure. seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that could make a make a big difference. Uh, Christy Lee's at the Bob and Tom News Desk. What have we missed? Speaking of suing, a man is suing his doctor after penis enlargement surgery left him with. A smaller penis. What? Yeah. A well- this is exactly the opposite of what I was going for. <laughs> Doc. Uh, what do you mean it was opposite day? <laughs> a There's wealthy a, By the way, the, I, I read a really lengthy article about uh, this topic. Lengthy and girthy? Uh, yeah. You. This is, it is a horrifying topic. There, there, are, there, it, there are people that are being sold this notion that you can have a larger male member and... Uh, it was a very long article. I believe it was in the New Yorker, and it was oh, scary this, how badly this can go for people. A wealthy banker named Mr. Ilter Turkman sought the services of Dr. Haluk Soilemez to enhance his 4.7-inch four, four long penis. Okay. In legal documents. <laughs> what did you just say? It's huge. Oh, in legal documents, the doctor allegedly assured Turkman of a minimum increase of 1.1 inches in length and 1.1 in girth. Following the procedure, see, I'm not, I'm not. I'm, uh, this girth thing throws me. I don't know why that's. Uh, I don't know how. How I didn't know they made them. Uh, Girthier. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they do. Yeah. They they kind of do a bacon wrap type. Yeah, I guess procedure. I don't know. Bacon <laughs> wrap. <laughs> sure, they wrap it up. Well, that would take better. Ap- apparently. Uh, <laughs> A lot of the feeling uh, goes away. It's a disaster. Do not do this. Following the procedure, Turkman says his penis was scarred and had been reduced in size to 4.3 inches. The good good news is he still has the balls to sue the doctor. (laughs) (laughs) That that takes courage. He also claims the botched surgery still causes him lasting pain that has hindered his ability to walk. Walking. Yeah. (laughs) Man. Yeah, don't do that. Now, when you were a kid, Tom, didn't you, uh, you uh, had something done to your penis? You couldn't walk for a year and a half, right? Were you circumcised? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't Mm -hmm. walk for a year and a half. (laughs) They they did it when I was two days old. (laughs) Yeah, it it, it really really threw me. Something else. Most most little babies are dancing at three weeks. Sure, yeah. Uh, Yeah, this is an awful thing to do. This is a, you don't want to be messing around down there. You're just fine, fellas. Yeah. You're going to be okay. Um, but Wait until they perfect it. Yeah. <laughs> you, I, I don't think so. You don't think they'll ever perfect it? I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> You're going to be just fine. Uh, uh, it's a new kind of dyslexia. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What else well, have you Francis got? No, that's when they put it on backwards. <laughs> you put it on the wrong oh, side. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, that'd be weird. Oh, like a tail. Oh. Like that. <laughs> uh, all the way around the back. Okay. Pope Francis recently proclaimed the following. Sexual pleasure is a gift from God, but warned avoid pornography. Ah. The pontiff made the remarks at his general audience in St. Peter's Square this week, saying sexual pleasure was something to be cherished, but that it was being undermined by pornography. He also warned that the satisfaction without a relationship can generate forms of addiction. Francis went on to say, quote, we must defend love. Hmm. Winning against the battle of lust can be a lifelong undertaking. He's right. Well, especially for him. I mean, don't, don't, I mean uh, look, coming from me, I'm already far too gone. I, I'm, I cannot be saved when it comes to uh, <laughs> porn addiction. But uh, for those of you huh. who uh, haven't gotten there yet, listen to the Pope. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe if the only thing that turns you on is a woman pretending to be stuck in a washing machine with her ass sticking out. Oh, that's maybe, hot. That's so hot. Maybe, maybe you spend way too much time on the pornography. Said I was reading an article that mentioned that's a thing. Apparently, yeah, that's a thing. No. Stuck porn is uh, like a. Is new, that what it's called? It seems. Yeah. Are yeah. you serious? Is yeah, it, we have a story about it. Is it always a on. washing machine? How How are you no. explaining this away that you have I, to no, stumble I, uh, upon? I, we, I have, we, had a, we had a story about. it. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. I have not. I it's not always. I didn't know it was called that. It doggy I... doors. It can be under the bed. It so can... wait a minute. So wait a minute. What's, the, what's the scenario with a doggy door? Uh, well, you try to crawl through and you're yeah, stuck. Yeah, and yeah. It's either uh, I need to get out of here uh, yeah. for some reason. Or, oh, I, what? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, face down, ass up, right? Yeah. 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 And then the... 
So you're here. Let's basically I'm, your partner is a victim. They can't move. Uh, they are. They're like, oh, please, what? You're supposed to help me, not do that. But oh. then they grow. They they they, oh. they realize. They enjoy it. I like it, Christy. They realized they were wrong okay. in assuming they uh, wouldn't like it. Yeah, Christy. Uh, <laughs> Christy, you'll, you'll never you'll never find a porno called. She said no, and I obliged. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so I walked away. That's not a common theme. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm on porn. I'm just putting in stuck. Here is um, stuck porn. Yeah. Uh, this this woman is just stuck in uh, a sliding glass door. It looks to me that it could easily be opened. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I, the, how do you get stuck in a sliding sliding glass door? Oh, this woman's stuck under a coffee table. Again, uh. real easy to get. She, oh, this this man has come across three women, <laughs> literally, all stuck <laughs> under under a bed. Oh, uh, they must have all. Hey, I can't find it. Will you help me? They're all stuck there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's is the he, woman. Is he pushing them out the other side? Are oh. they on their Are they on their backs or their fronts, or does he have one of each? Oh. Uh, they were all uh, on their knees, if okay. you will, with their heads under the bed. Ah. And this is something that he then they they carry they, they carry they, they carry on and film the now this woman activity is uh, uh, somehow yeah. stuck in. Um, you know those gardeners? Are they gabions or gabions? They're the uh, the fencing that you can fill with stone, and it keeps them all from pouring out like that. You know, and, and they're they're. Uh, you know what I'm talking Is this about, like right? Dictionary. What are we doing here? <laughs> I think they're called gabions or gabions, and uh, you fill. They're fences. They're like mesh fencing that you fill with stone. Okay. You know yes, what I'm to, to yes. keep like a retaining wall right. up. Right. I got it. now. She's, I know and it's all about. rolled up. She's stuck in that. Oh. <laughs> oh. But oh, is so I assume that conveniently it looks like a giant slinky lose a kind rock of thing. or something. Yeah, but I, yeah. and then but I, I imagine that certain orifices are uh, exposed enough to be uh, uh, serviced. Are these if you women will. naked? Christy, may I show you? Th yes. This woman's not naked, but I will. Can I just? Show? Yeah. <laughs> so they start She's off stuck clothes. in the dryer. Have you ever found yourself I, stuck? Uh, I believe oh, I am I... so sorry, Christy. That video started. I had no idea. I, I, I haven't have seen uh, that before. I have the uh, the uh, conversation ender for this. Okay. Uh, apparently, these three women are stuck underneath a bed. Three of them. Right. And uh, they're only exposed from the bottom. From the back, <laughs> right, right, it's unbelievable. Right. Three women, Tom, stuck at the same time under what, a what, what kind of do you say first? What kind of dialogue do they have? Oh, I, it's got to be glorious. Well, you know what they say in adult <laughs> cinema: if it's not on the page, <laughs> you can't. You can't. You're not gonna have a good movie. <laughs> not, right, right. Yeah, you have to start with a good script. You gotta have oh, a script. Anyway, sorry. We probably in, in any event, I'm, how did this start? Uh, oh, the, you the, said that you were into stock porn. Uh, yeah. No, no, the po we're the talking po about the Pope okay. talking about pornography. Yeah, and you came across a woman who was stuck in a drive. Yeah, is what you're watching. You said you loved it <laughs> no we had it i'm trying to find this we had a news story about it I, I about stuck porn yeah i didn't realize i'd forgotten what it was called but uh yeah apparently that's what it was <sighs> uh, isn't that something uh, wow that's a the whole genre i prefer my women to be unstuck i like them to be able to uh, maneuver as well yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. be willing <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> it wasn't an accidental encounter no. <laughs> there's a, right, right. Uh, again again you're not going to find the pornography entitled she said no and i said we want to bet uh, okay <laughs> but don't you think that you don't like it because maybe you've never you've never tried it maybe you would like it yeah, I guess. You know, why knock? Don't knock until you try. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, once again, uh, if you want to go to four pontiffs only, uh, the, the, the Pope will be telling you no. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're very good. Uh, now, well, we have a song coming up from Mr. Godwin. I got a bunch of requests on the way. And uh, we also have a one of those things where they've got a, a street name that they just aren't happy with. They're going to have to change the name of the street. We'll find out what that is when we come back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks. Uh, Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom is Steven Seagal. Steven oh, Seagal. Steven Seagal. That's right. Hey, Steve, Steven, how did you make how did you make your living, Steven? You know, I made my living in the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. The last 20 years, I've been a cop. Uh-huh. I understand Christy Lee is having some second thoughts about moving. Uh, no, she already yeah. moved. A lot of people don't know, but for five of the last 20 years, I've also been a real estate broker. <laughs> really? <laughs> we had no idea. I, I love know. open houses, man. Oh. Sunday, I show up. <laughs> 
Yeah. Uh-huh. The owners and say, you get out the car. You <laughs> <laughs> get on the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy what happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. You see what's to go. Yeah, get that alive, man. Then you see what's to go. Yeah. Hey, back up, man. I said, oh, get this oh, 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 oh. I made my living in the movies. Uh, uh, yeah. Steven Seagal. For the last two seconds, I've been a bitch slapper. Steven Seagal. No, man. Wow, those, uh, you have sound effects and everything, huh, Steven? It's Donnie Baker. Guess what? I saved up some money and bought this new badass spy camera. I swear to God I did. Check this thing out. Yep, this is where it happens, a Bob and Tom studio. Oh, perfect. Don't even look like they're busy. Hey, guys, I got a question. Uh, excuse me. Hey. What's happening? What are you doing here? Donnie Donnie. Baker. Well, Donnie, we're working here. Yeah, well, I'm working too, because the fact remains, I ain't going to just keep calling into you guys without a pay raise. I need a pay raise, and I want a better parking spot. Employee, you moron. Okay, well, I'm not taking less than what I'm asking for. I swear to getting anything. Well, but I I won't settle for that. I want to pay it. We'll we'll multiply that by two. I'll call FACA. You go, okay, if you're going to you times go about ahead. it. Go right ahead. You, will you just get out of here? You don't even work here. Well, okay, how about some Bon Jovi tickets? Uh, Angel Skinner's loves John Bon Jovi's. Sure, you've got Bon Jovi tickets, absolutely. We'll get one for Angel. Parking pass? And she'll get to go with uh, with Jay Baker to see the show. Ah, okay. Uh-huh. 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 Those are great seats. Uh-huh. Tell them to bring extra pants. I, 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 I got to go. Oh, man. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Good morning. Hello. And uh, we are joined in the studio by our guest comedian, Clinton Jackson. See, I got the name of two presidents, right? I was yeah. just thinking about that. Yeah, yes, you do. People don't, yeah, see, Bill Clinton and Jesse Jackson. Boom! <laughs> 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 just wanted to scare, <laughs> scare a few <laughs> people. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, now, Clinton, I, I was told that you were part of a comedy festival in Aspen. Mm-hmm. Indeed, I was. Now, uh, do you ski? No, I do not. <laughs> All the other comics went, and they asked me to go, and I said no. You know what I mean? I just didn't want to be out there, you know, leading a pack, looking like Hootie and a hundred blowfish. <laughs> <laughs> my dog once that was oh. <laughs> no that's are you bad. kidding me <laughs> okay this olympic oh my right God. My man. little christy Fair lee down the hill slalom oh specialist. yeah the once 20s puked on her dog. Yeah, animal you cruelty puked on your dog <laughs> the 20s were not good to me you know how to party no and i had an afghan hound do you ever oh, oh. mistake of falling asleep on the side of the bed that day. I never trusted those Afghanis. I'll yeah. Tell you. Yeah. Wait a minute, never did. Forgetting. What the poor dog just laying there asleep. Look at that gel with all that love in their eyes. And oh, it oh, gets oh, better. Mommy's waking up. It all- gets better. Oh. Dogs, a dog oh, it gets will better. lick it up. Christy puked on her dog. Do you know what my dog's name was? When he gets better. Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> this Valentine's Day, then Frigamal Flores has the gift for you. It's our I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. <laughs> yes, for just $59.95, you can send her the I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. The I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet proclaims your lust for her in the most romantic way possible. The bouquet of lovely fresh flowers says, let's do it and my loins ache. Your wedding vows didn't include a vow of chastity, but you're not going to see any action unless you act now. So pick up the phone and order the I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. Right now. That's the I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I order you some flowers bouquet. With one phone call, you can cover your ass 
and get some ass. It's a win-win. <laughs> Call now, because when Cupid shoots his arrow on February 14th, you won't be shooting anything unless you get her some flowers. <laughs> Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. So I get on the plane to go up to do this movie, and sitting across from me, I didn't see him get on the plane because I was doing my own thing or whatever, is Ed McMahon. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, God bless him. Ed, you know, he's yeah. been on the show. He's been in here a couple times. I love him. He's great. I mean, he looks 107, but he's had a, a, a very, very uh, admirable uh, life. and, mm -hmm. and uh, Marine, veteran, combat exactly, veteran. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I, I'd done the show, as you mentioned, with he and Johnny many, many times. But and I, So I didn't realize he was on the plane, so we hadn't spoken. We hadn't even made eye contact. And seven seconds into the flight, he's fast asleep. Mm -hmm. You know, God bless but I couldn't resist. Uh oh I went up behind him <laughs> <laughs> about 15 minutes into the flight when he was snoring. I went up behind him and into his ear I said, Ed, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a great sport. He shot up in his seat and he said, Yes! <laughs> yes, sir. Hi-oh. Hi-oh. Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Um. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here we all are. Pat Godwin's here. Hey, Chick. Hello, Pat. You got hey. your guitar out? I you, do. All, all set right. over there, ready I'm to all, go? All, all tuned up. Ready to roll, really? really? What's on your mind, Pat? Right. That well, that's exciting. The, the Pope and the porn is saying, yeah, saying stay away from the porn. The Pope and the porn. I, well, yeah, the, uh, the, the, the Pope. Uh, the pasta. And the... For some reason, the, 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 the Pope was uh, doing some kind of a, a statement, and he said to stay away from, uh, stay away from porn. Is what he said essentially, and uh, you have a tribute. I do. I think there's too much. Okay. We just started dating, and things are moving pretty fast. She's trying wild things in the bedroom. Must have a kinky past. I wonder where she's learned this stuff. I wish I was forewarned. Must have had a boyfriend that watched too much porn. 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 69's a young man's game and my meniscus is torn. <laughs> Back it off a notch. Take that ring thing off my crotch. This girl's been watching too much porn. A young kid from St. Louis once had a dream. To make it big in showbiz <laughs> and be part of a radio team. Uh -oh. Maybe meet a girl and not be so forlorn. But Josh is watching too much porn. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. Too much porn. Oh, too much porn. What? Too much porn. I watch too much porn. <laughs> Yanking it and spanking it till the early morn. <laughs> Go on a date. Josh, your laptop can wait. <laughs> Josh, he watches too much. The pastor watches too much. Your mother watches oh. too much porn. <laughs> Woo. Uh, thank you, Pat. Very nice. Awesome. Like you. Oh, I know. Okay, now I was trying to find this. That's uh, had to have happened that someone has been looking uh, innocently at something and seen something and realized, oh my gosh, I. I like that. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, they, oh, that they turned me on. You know, later in life, I guess, you would think, right? You sure. didn't know you liked it? Right. Has that ever happened to you? Like the washing machine thing? You say you don't, but did you like that? <laughs> Enjoyed it, huh? The washing <laughs> machine. The stuck, the stuck board. Stuck oh, board. oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We were talking off the air about washing in a different, much oh. different context. Yeah, I, I know the difference. No, no, the, the, the so-called uh, stuck pornography is uh, not particularly appealing. It seems to lack a certain consensual... Uh, aspect, Josh, wouldn't you say? Well, that's, pro that's this, this, this possibly is, why people like it. Yeah. Power thing. Is that, that's not necessarily a good thing, then. I think hence the Pope going, you know what? <laughs> yeah, I, I think he's yeah. got a good Sex point. is great, <laughs> porn, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, so uh, you're on the side of as, uh, you can uh, have anything sexual as long as it's normal, right? Mm. No, I, I, did, I don't think you want, to, you want to encourage abuse of any kind. I, uh, I, I, and I don't. 
I think that what the Pope is saying is, hey, sex, kick it old school. Yeah, it's You don't good. have to have the movies going earlier. I don't think the Pope is saying that. <laughs> I think he is. I don't think he? he's saying kick it old school. Well, he's certainly saying that sexual pleasure is a gift from, from God. Right, and he's, so he's not... saying a kick it old school. But evidently, uh... <laughs> you got it you got a man, you got a woman, you go to the thing, and they're showing them, and oh, then I you got a babies. black and white porn. <laughs> <laughs> but the printing press is uh, Satan, is that because he doesn't oh. like porn, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, no, but uh, there is an imprinting thing that goes on with people, and sure I, think, yeah. I think there's absolutely... There are people. I'm sure there are guys out there that have to have black and white porn on sure. a with a the sound well, of a projector. That happened with you and your mom and her bridge partners. You oh, were, that's right. You like those older ladies? You shuffle cards and you get a yeah, yeah. twitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody brings out a pack of Uno cards. Boy, Uno you never cards. seen just, him. Just, uh, just makes up lies. No wonder you don't like to play cards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's yeah. Just hear the word bridge. You should see him walk through a casino. It's embarrassing. Right, that's how you came up with this. Take me like a dog. Oh God! I'm f the good news is all my mom's bridge partners are now dead. Well, well, so well the good news for your girlfriend. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I did. I did Older Google this, the and I found the sweeter the berry. No, that's I found right. the uh, the year in review. Year in review. Year. Year oh, in oh. review from the Pornhub organization. Uh huh. Yes. Um, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. From the Pornhub organization. I don't even know what some of <laughs> they this get stuff together okay, is. Okay, Christy, like what? let me run this by you. These are the most searched terms in 2023. Number five is pine. Pine? P-I-N-A-Y. Pine pasta. People Wait, P-I-N-A-Y. Like I'm sorry, P what is what? it? P-I-N-A-Y. Do you know what that is? P-I-N-A-Y. No, no. Never heard it. It's number five in most search. Do you know what it is? It means a woman of Filipino descent or oh. origin. No kidding. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, some of them are, are then there are a number of, uh, of uh, nationalities that are underscored in the top ten. Sure. Uh, including uh, Asian, uh, Latina. Uh, Japanese and anal. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> where, where are those people from? <laughs> I mean, the, the back end of something, I know, but. Um, this is, this is really some kind of interesting stuff here. Wednesday, 5 a.m., the least amount of pornography being observed. Oh. Ah. Now, um, that's changed, as I recall. It was like two, sometime Tuesday, wasn't it? At some point, we mm, had maybe. that story before. Uh, pretty fascinating. That was a Simon and Garfunkel album. Yeah. Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. Yeah. Ah. Do you ever start your yes. day with a little porn, Josh? Uh, no, not anymore. No, there was a time, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Was that so, an album or just a song? Wednesday morning. I think that was the title. It was the title. It was an album. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. You, what did you just say? We just changed the subject from the middle. Oh, Christy asked if I'll watch porn in the morning. Like if because I get Wednesday, up and, 5 a.m., it yeah. could be, Josh could be partaking at that No, hour. no. I don't. Even on the weekends. Wake, like, and, wake and shake. <laughs> this will disappoint. <laughs> That's, That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very, not very not wake and bake. Very <laughs> shake hands with the man. <laughs> no, yeah. in my younger years. Okay. Yeah. It's not as important to me as it used to be. Um, okay. Oh, it's still important. <laughs> well, don't get me wrong. Now, uh, I would like you to guess, uh, Josh... Uh, if the least favorite time, and this is based on the statistics of of the uh, pornographic organization known as wait a minute, which one is a uh, Pornhub, mm -hmm. uh, Josh, what is the uh, most commonly uh, 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 preferred time to watch pornographic er erotic videos? Oh boy, maybe uh, I mean I'll just take a guess. Sunday, uh, 10 p.m. You're close. Monday evenings at 11 o'clock. Really? Okay. Hmm. I thought maybe shaking off the Sunday scaries with a little uh, pine yeah. time. That, that, that's I that's a Monday. weird time. Yeah, well, Monday at 11 p.m., yeah. yeah. Have you ever, ever heard the that things about what the best time to have surgery? Yeah, you know, but is not... It, is, it, is a Tuesday at right. 9, and the best time to get a business deal done is whatever. There's certain times you're not... Sure. Maybe guys are done watching football. They went, all right, well, oh, I'll... Uh, well, but Monday at 11 o'clock, the game's not done yet. 11 o'clock Eastern. Hmm. Oh, so then, well, it's certainly not done. It's close to maybe an exciting finish. Mm. No, uh, again, <laughs> again, looking at the uh, at the trends here on the Pornhub uh, announcements here about their year, um, the number one search is uh, related to what aspect of humanity? Do you think? What? <laughs> um, uh, is it like anime? Porn? I'm going to say. Uh, I know what I. Uh, the step parent. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go with no, that. No, no, it's it's the number one search is related to age. Oh, age. is it MILF? Uh, MILF? That's number MILF? two. Uh, mature. Oh, oh, okay. Really? Oh, wow. uh, followed okay. by MILF. Um, 
followed by DILF. Dad. Dads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What is it? That's so if oh, MILF is mom, I Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I, I got you. You could be a DILF. I see, I see. It's, uh, it's not... <laughs> I mean, I suppose to me, are there guys searching for DILFs? Yes. Maybe. Yeah, well, sure. Hey, look, hey, whatever you're, whatever you're into, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's okay. I just... Oh, yeah. That's why you're questioning it. Is there a place for... That's why you're uh, so you, uncomfortable yeah, right yeah, now. True. You're going to weird... That's why you questioned it like you were questioning whether there were aliens. <laughs> yes. Right. <laughs> and um, up last year, uh, significantly, granny searches. <laughs> <laughs> That's surprising. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. Sometimes after you're done, you want somebody who can bake a pie <laughs> coming up we have a tribute uh from da vinci's notebook the classic song known as internet porn uh pat i certainly enjoyed your song thank you yeah. tom and uh pat uh you're going to be on the road uh coming up yes this, jeff. this year jeff and i yeah uh, with uh, mr jeff oske who's going to be doing a special appearance on this show in about an hour and you and jeffrey are going to be doing pat coslett's famous event every year this is a big event saturday february 10th in Evansville, Indiana, not to be missed. A great show with Patty G and Mr. Jeff Oskey. Well, when we come back, Christy, what do you got over there? Uh, well, we have some etiquette experts uh, uh, weighing in on how to avoid or handle awkward situations. Have you ever okay. been in an awkward situation? We have some tips. Uh, daily. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom. Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. That sounds good to me. No problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that'd be my fault. What the hell was that? Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. Well, that sounds good to me. No problem here. How's it going? Morning. Hey, hold on there, kid. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We thought we'd barge in. God. There's a new one. (laughs) Hey, kid, hold on there. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We do a morning radio show here in town. Here's the deal. We thought we'd break into your house. (laughs) Consarn it. (laughs) Shoot. Darn it. Honey, I'm home. Oh, great. Fish again. (laughs) (laughs) You know, we can vote you off this commercial. You know, Chick wanted Richard Hatch. (laughs) What if we paid you to say you liked us? (laughs) (laughs) We can vote you off. Come way down. And now the news. Oh. You do sports. And now, and now the sports. <laughs> that would be you, Chick. Sports terms that sound dirty, but they're not. No, oh, really. Ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Coming in first place. <laughs> Good. Palming the ball. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Taking it to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't get your holes mixed up. Right. Ooh. Just don't get your holes mixed up. <laughs> Flip the cord over. Flip the cord over. I don't well... want it in my... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're looking for here. <laughs> don't fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All How right. many times have I heard, heard that? that. <laughs> <laughs> Take two... <laughs> A London homeowner who discovered three men trying to rob his house had no difficulty in describing one of the suspects. He had no legs. Ooh, Ooh usually in crime, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> usually in crime, it's the police that are stumped, not the criminals. I know you guys probably aren't interested, but guess what I did this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Did you uh, impeach Bush? <laughs> no. <laughs> Buzz the honey hole? <laughs> no. Flick the minnow? Did you flick the minnow? <laughs> Flicking the old minnow? Oh, oh, Flicking wow. the minnow? Or did you impeach Clinton? Bailing out the gravy boat? Is that what you were doing? 
<laughs> finger the fountain. <laughs> Sounds like wow. a wonderful time, but no, I didn't do any of those things. Sorry. What um, a boring weekend. Yeah, Move on. Yes. <laughs> Bounce the bearded clam. <laughs> Did you yeah, attend yeah. the clam twiddling jamboree? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm That's what I did. To that or not? Yeah, I double dribbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tom did. I uh, just took his only uh, line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I like to think of Bob as the funny. <laughs> It's part of the drinking act. <laughs> I like to think of Bob as the funny one, and I'm more the philosophical one. Ah, really? By the way, you left your headlights on. Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? Do the other, can you do the other That's line? It? That's it? That was the <laughs> joke? <laughs> well, That's the other it? Line? This one right here. I think of Bob as the funny one. I'm more of the philosophical one. Really? Will you shut up and drink your hemlock, please? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to be too hip for you. Hemlock, you know. Hemlock. Socrates. What is it? Poison. Poison. Start with H. You want hemlock? Headlights? What's next? <laughs> Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid. <laughs>
Um, does that make sense to anybody? Smoking. So, yeah. so guys like to watch the girls smoke. Or guys smoke. Is that a, is that a yeah. thing? I don't yeah, know. Sure. Yeah, it must be. Uh, okay. Oh, I still have porn hub. Um, in Mississippi, <laughs> if you it's... you can think of it, it's a thing. We've been yeah, exa- exactly, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, is that uh, is this a woman smoking cigarettes and talking to you? or is? <laughs> well, I don't know if she's talking. Maybe she's going back and forth between the cigarette and... Oh, okay. Maybe, it's, it's yeah. All, okay. Right. Uh-huh. Um, uh, uh, furry <laughs> is uh, the number yeah. one search in uh, Mississippi. Furries, really? Huh? Hmm. That's the one where people dress up like animals? And... Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, All she right. She's smoking. Uh, oh, yep. She's going back and forth. Wow. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's too early for this. Um, <laughs> now, this is here's an interesting statistic. Uh, uh, Christy, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll let you see if you can figure out what I'm talking about here. Uh, time spent per visit. Well, sure. That... Oh, I'm going to say... Uh, Three and a half minutes. Five. I'll go five. Um, Jack, oh. you were going to say... Uh, five minutes. Eleven. Uh, in Japan, all right. I eleven minutes fourteen seconds is oh. the average time Whoa. spent. Um, United States, nine minutes fifty-seven seconds. Good for them. Uh, so, <laughs> so are, do they? Are the movies then all about ten minutes long? Is that I'm kind of. No, that has, that's not, no, nobody goes on there. <laughs> Starts a clip, and then when it's finished, just goes, all right, and then goes to do something else. Yeah. <laughs> that's just how long they're whacking it. Because I would think if, 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 you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're, if you're, if you're part of the movie didn't come until minute 12, you're out of luck. Yeah. Uh, but... Hey, Mom, <laughs> did you think I did a good job? I didn't make it past nine minutes, 27 seconds, son. Well, maybe next time, honey. <laughs> They're almost all around 10 minutes. Um, yeah. U.S., 9 minutes, 57 seconds. Philippines, 11 minutes, 15. Mexico, 9 minutes, 24. They're, they're, it seems to be fairly consistent. Um, Louisiana is the state that spent the least amount of time on Pornhub. Really? Um, 8 minutes and 21 seconds. Okay. <laughs> I also assu- I would assume that there is a uh, correlation between access to the Internet and... Uh, you know, in some rural communities, it's hard to get on the internet. Sure. Yeah. Uh, although I'm and I'm fully in favor, not because of pornography, but for other reasons of making sure that our government provides proper internet service to everybody out there. I think it's a uh, education uh, thing. Sure. Yeah, it's very important. Um, uh, but anyway, th- this is uh, fascinating stuff. Does it say oh, how, on average, how many times a week people visit? Yeah, probably. This is oh. a huge uh, catalog of uh, questions that they're answering. Yeah, it's like a. 90 page yeah. thing that comes out. Man. Yeah. Um, a lot of data. A lot of uh, searches relating to, Christy, mm-hmm. uniforms. Hottest uniform, Tom. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh, you mean for me? Yeah. What do you like to see a woman in uniform? Well, is a cheerleader uh, considered a uniform? Sure. That'd be, yeah. I, oh, I suppose that. I, I think probably. I think in this context, they probably mean uh, um, Ar- armed dress services. Blues. Yeah. yeah, would it be, you know, would it be a, mm-hmm. uh, like a, yeah, that's uh, like army guy, I guess. Marine. Or the navies, the guys in white. <laughs> Ooh, that's or nice. I, I, like nurses probably yeah. is big for the, for guys. Old school nurses. Oh, yeah, now the they're all in scrubs. scrubs. <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. With them in the white dress, not the. Yeah, the oh, and the little not hat. The, okay, <laughs> calm down, Ace, calm yeah, down. Well, I, think, I think he likes nurses. <laughs> Someone just lit a fire under Ace. Holy wow. hell. Jeez. Yeah, you want right, you the, the hat with the red cross. The really? Short, yeah. short skirt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> White but stockings and the white shoes. Yeah, they're all scrubs now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, they're all scrubs. Yeah. yeah. What happened, nurses? Get hot again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird hat. You, know, you have a job have to do. no idea how they fold them. You know? yeah. Yes. Well, um, well uh, now, uh, I think in honor of uh, this topic. Yes, in honor of it. Yes. Uh, we're going to uh, feature a song from uh, the uh, the aggregation, the, the a cappella aggregation known as Da Vinci's Notebook. ba ba da ba ba
Back in the not too distant past, when I would need a quick repast or a temporary break from my agenda. Up to the bedroom, I would head, pull out the Playboy from neath the bed, and sneak a peek at all the portraits of Pudenda. My alternatives were slim. If I tried to find another source for sin, I'd have to hang out with the losers in the back room of my local video store but last month i finally made the call i got a brand new cable modem installed and it opened up the floodgates on a whole new universe of internet porn internet porn roman orgy scenes internet porn dominatrix queens internet porn girl on girl on girl on girl on girl on guy on sheep internet porn gross anatomy internet porn pam and tommy lee internet Internet porn when you're given so much to choose from. Who has time to sleep? <laughs> Honestly, honey, I don't know how the link got on there. After my girlfriend goes to sleep, then I get out of bed and down the hall I creep so I can hunker down and wallow in depravity until three or four. You'll always find me in that same tableau. Silhouetted by my monitor's warm glow And absorbing all the bounty from the cornucopia of internet porn Internet porn, barely legal teens Internet porn, naughty figurines Internet geriatric German grandmas spanking Spanish men Internet porn, erotic Asian art Internet porn, guys with extra parts Internet, I don't think I'm ever going to see the sun again Internet porn, melonlove.com. Internet, there's my neighbor's mom. Internet porn, bikers wearing diapers, chasing nurses dressed like Smurfs. Internet porn, maison les clavages. Internet porn, on de trois ménages. Internet, every kind of smut from every corner of the earth. Da Vinci's notebook. Uh, Paul and Storm and the boys and their classic. Internet porn. Thank you very much, fellas. Uh, in honor of, um, of all things, the Pope uh, yeah. declaring that uh, uh, too much porn out there. Uh, so <laughs> it's uh, unbelievably accessible these days. Yeah. It's got to be tough to be a parent. Yep. To try to. <laughs> yeah. You... How old's your son now, Pat? 13. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. I mean, that, that's got to really be difficult. Uh, have you had the talk? Uh, we've had a talk, yes, okay. about the internet. Yeah. Oh, did the talk go something like this? Uh, ask your mom? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm pretty direct. With them. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pretty direct. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good, good yeah. for you, Pat. Um, now, um, now, coming up, what have you got over there, Christy Lee? Uh, tips for handling awkward situations. We have renaming a street in California. Someone sent us an email about an awkward situation. I don't oh. know if they knew that... Uh, we were going to, it says, Dear Bob and Tom Show, Tom said that he has awkward situations every day. Uh, this gentleman says, correction, Tom is the awkward situation every day. Oh, I... Uh, he is a walking awkward oh, that, that situation. Fully, I concur. I uh, love the show from Brian. There you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. I I'm the you arrive and it gets awkward yeah, and so weird. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's true. Well, we'll find out what kind of awkward situations they're talking about. Um, and I've been searching, trying to find this uh, story about uh, what's it called again? Capture porn. What did Stuck you call porn. it? Stuck porn. Stuck porn. Capture porn. Boy, I bet capture porn something uh, too. Oh, boy, you, got, you go out, you hunt them, you, 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 you bag them up, you, <laughs> <laughs> hanging from a net. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, go ahead, Tom. Uh, so right. Keep talking, buddy. Uh, all I landed on was a thing. About semen used as invisible ink. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, I bet that would work. That was right? back in the olden days, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dear Rebecca, I missed you a lot, as this letter proves. <laughs> you can Hold it under a black light. I was going to say, how would you see? Uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, coming up, uh, bleach. Also, we have a <laughs> comedian Al Jackson will be our guest. But uh, right now, I want to talk to you about how much I enjoyed my Raycon earbuds and. Those full headphones from Raycon, I cannot tell you how much they helped me on vacation because the girls had them on. Mm. They put on those Raycon headphones, and all of a sudden, ah, uh, sure is quiet on the plane. It's they sure whole, are content. Whole new ball game, isn't it? They should be called the Raycon Keep Them Content Phones. Ah, everyday earbuds from Raycon look, feel, and sound better than ever with the optimized gel tips for the perfect year in fit. 
in ear fit. Uh, earbuds are so comfortable, they will not budge. Uh, they won't fall out on the ground on you. Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and uh, customizable sound profiles and awareness modes, all at about half the price of other premium audio brands. That's Raycon. And, of course, we've got a deal for you. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom, 15% off Raycon products. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Uh, I love my Raycon earbuds. You'll love yours, too. I, we, get, we get love letters about the Raycons. And once again, half the price. What is it? Uh, twice the quality and half the price. Twice the quality <laughs> and half the price. Coming up, comedian Al Jackson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy, and you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, you have the Bob and Tom Show app on your phone. You know someone who might like the Bob and Tom Show app? What's the, what's the exact correct name of this? The Pickle Dog. The Pickle, pickle dog. dog. Pickle Dog. Okay, now, well, we are all Pickle Dog virgins. So, Bob, why don't you go first, and I'll right. do the play-by-play. -play. Bob, your right hand, you're supposed to put your left hand behind your head <laughs> before you... Oh, no! Pickle Dog down! Okay, now Bob Bob is now chewing the Pickle Dog. He's about to give his analysis and his review. Uh, Bob. It's delicious. It is delicious. It gets a thumbs up from Bob. It's very messy. Are they going to be able to show this very on the TV messy. show? I know. It's it's John, messy. eat it. It's very messy. Bob, your thoughts? John, I... Mm. I shot my hot dog <laughs> uh, right mm. out of the uh, right out of the pickle out of the canoe. Well, well some pi some people get a little excited when they have their first pickle dog. Well, you know, I, I did, and I I made a I've created a huge <laughs> huge mess over here that actually looks somewhat like a porn shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this may take a while. Say, how'd it go, boss? He said he's heard worse. He says he's heard worse. He says he hears worse every morning. Bob and Tom in the morning. Louisville's classic rock all day on 95.7 QMF. Please forgive us. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Now tell the story again, and I always Which love one? the story about when you and Cheryl were playing, and you, the day that you finally, well, the, the day that she quit playing one-on-one -on -one against you. You mean when I finally beat her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, is, this is Reggie's was, sister, yeah, of course. A couple course. years ago. <laughs> she, uh, she, she, wasn't, she wasn't going to play anymore. Well, when I sent her shot into the <laughs> my mom's rose garden, <laughs> we started playing horse. Right. But you got to remember, Cheryl was always two to three inches taller as we were growing up. So mm -hmm. I started to catch her in height my freshman and sophomore year of high school. Mm -hmm. So up until that point, Cheryl dominated me. <laughs> but she, she dominated on everyone, you? though. Uh -huh. I don't feel so bad. Uh -huh. Didn't she score? A, how many did she score that one night? You, you, you scored, what was it? 45. 45. 50. And she came in and... You know, I'm gloating. Because <laughs> uh -huh. we had played in the away gym. She had played at the home gym. So mm -hmm. my dad was with her at... The, their game, and my mom was with me, so we get in the car. Hey, I had my best game ever, uh -huh. 40, 45 points. Strider started. Strider, what did you do tonight? And she looked at my dad and looked, kind of looked down. Uh -huh. My dad's like, oh, she had a pretty good game. I was like, oh, yeah, but I bet it wasn't 40, 45. Yeah. Uh, no, she had a really good game. <laughs> well, what's really good? Uh -huh. She had 105. <laughs> By yourself? <laughs> I'm like, they, the team scored 105? No, 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 son. Cheryl, Cheryl scored. Oh, 100, 105 and points. Five I bet that record still points. stands. I believe it does. Mm -hmm. They beat that team 179 oh, to my 12. God. The point guard which is still a record, had 39 assists. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like crazy numbers. <laughs> Kooky. She's crazy. 
and she's getting bald. <laughs> Tomorrow's my girlfriend's birthday, and she'll definitely be getting bald. <laughs> what woman wouldn't love to get bald? My wife and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary soon. I thought she'd be thrilled when I told her she was gonna get bald. But she just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> okay, almost everybody wants to get bald. Be sure to get some today. Just look for the slick box, and you'll know you're getting bald. B-A-L-D. Bald. <laughs> Hi, this is Kostaki Economopoulos, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. I was in the Marines for a while. You were. Thinking, wow. And it takes a while to adjust as a civilian world when you come out of boot camp because you're so fired up. When I came out that same week, my sister got married. She had me seat people at the wedding. <laughs> I accepted the assignment, you know. People would come walking up to me in front of the church like, oh, you must be Patricia's brother. Sit down! <laughs> I don't want to be your friend. Get your eyes off me. What is your major malfunction? <laughs> 200 people showed up. I put them all in the same row. <laughs> tighten it up. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. <laughs> we're not comfortable. Outstanding! <laughs> <laughs> I was outstanding, as a matter of fact. Comedian oh Greg Hahn is with us. Where are you from, by the way? Patterson, from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, boy. you know, small. Sure. Thugged out town. You mm -hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? I'll come over for dinner. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, Tom. How are you, buddy? Uh, there you go. Hi, Jack. I'm doing just fine. Thank <laughs> you. Having a drink of, uh, what are you, what, what, coffee, are you what are you running over there? Just like a regular black coffee? Um, it's got some um, American Dairy Association cream in it. That's Delightful, right. delicious. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, now, um, we're going to uh, get hooked up here with uh, comedian Al Jackson. There he is. Oh, um, yes. Al, you look like a war correspondent. <sighs> you got your uh, camo on. And, is that camo or I, what is it? Just, it, it's just it's army love. green, I think. Tom, go. Tom I think that you and I are slowly becoming the same person. I wear the same thing all the time. I found this on Amazon. It's kind of like a a cheap velour kind of uh, top, almost like you have with the two buttons on the on the chest plate. Two pockets. You gotta have two pockets. Yeah, I'm become. I should just have a a parrot on my arm on Carson, and that's how I'm dressed. <laughs> I'm dressed like the the uh, what was a famous animal trainer. Oh, from the Columbus Zoo. Uh, yeah. Jack, 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 Jack Hanna. Sure. Yes, that's yeah. that's how I'm starting to dress all the time at home now, and I'm I'm kind of leaning into it. I think I'm yeah, I, I'm done with my youth. I'm ready to just pick one outfit. Yeah, I should take a picture of my closet, Al. It's like one color. <laughs> it's, I'm you're, really you're, surprised by that. Yeah, you're saying that like we wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> And by closet, did you mean neighborhood? <laughs> <laughs> you mean the very ideology by which I live? <laughs> I would imagine your your I almost said your neighborhood. I imagine your closet's a little more colorful than mine. Oh yeah, it it, it is. But I've, I, you know, I don't wear a lot of different stuff. I have like stuff I'll wear. Like if I'm going out to a, like an event. I'll usually be goofy, goofily dressed, but nice, like respectful. But I have something ridiculous on. But I, like I'll have a, you know, I'll put on a, uh, you know, what, what do you call those with the the two strings for your tie, rather with the, with the bull's head. Bolo I'll tie. I wear a bolo tie. Yeah. Any, I, I can pull a bolo tie off, or at least I tell nice. myself that. I love a bolo tie. Like I'll be dressed a little dumb and dumber adjacent, mm. but like for every day, I'm 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 kind of. Uh, the same thing. I wear the same thing every day. When you stop looking to meet women, that's when your outfits you, that you could mm -hmm. that you, like that day. It's like a, the stock market. You can see the drop off in <laughs> in, in, hey, in Al, caring about. I need, I need an interpretation here. Talk to me. So yesterday I'm getting an iced tea, and I'm in this place, and um, <laughs> there there's a bunch of ladies standing there, and. Um, Someone makes a remark about the jacket I'm making. I'm, I'm wearing, wearing, excuse me, the jacket I'm wearing. Yes. Was there anything descriptive about, was, did it stand out in any way? No, it's just a beautiful jacket. Oh, uh, is that that dumb leather jacket you have and that I you said, won't I get said, rid of? And I said, this is the most expensive article of clothing I've ever purchased in my life. I bought it in Colorado. You there, said that to a complete stranger. 
Yes. Therefore, it uh, oh. it should be uh, recognized and as that beautiful and piece of clothing. Yeah, and then, mean, and then the lady goes, you paid too much. Oh, uh, that's funny. Oh, oh that's yes. fun. She was having fun with You've that. seen that jacket. And yeah. even, yeah. I think Kelly agrees with her, doesn't she? Hey, shut she, up. Well, I'm just... Yeah, yes, I think, every, I think everyone agrees with you. I she, bet you yeah. kind of laughed. She was with me when I picked it out. I don't that, that jacket looks like it's two different jackets, and it's it, right. stupid looking. Uh, okay, yes. Pick a chick, jacket. Uh, do, chick, do I uh, uh, assume that you're probably correct? Yes, I do. Yes. But I will say this in defense of Tom. Uh-huh. That's what I call an early joke. She, he, yeah. that's like uh, Josh can make that joke. Christy, uh, Chick, everybody, uh, we I can make that joke. We know Tom, mm -hmm. but like uh, in line, a rando, it's like you can make fun of your sister, but when somebody else does, it's like, mm -hmm. well, we're I'll see you when we get off the bus. Oh, <laughs> I don't like I, I don't like that comment. Yeah. I don't like that comment. She felt way too comfortable. Yep. You mm. let me know whichever Panera bread you were at, Tom, and I'm gonna go there and wait for it. <laughs> Al, I I, I semi disagree, and here's why. What Tom Talk did. To he inadvertently peacocked. Yes. What does that mean? He did. Mm. He wore something. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> he wore something that kind of immediately broke the ice. You, she started talking to you because of an, an item of an clothing attention getting you were wearing, thing. and she sort of, I think she was kind of flirting with you. She nope. may have been, but then Tom started uh, immediately discussing price points. Right. Rather than, like, telling a funny anecdote. And, about, and well, see, I got this jacket because I volunteer with kids in Aspen. <laughs> <laughs> I got this in the Peace Corps. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, my larger point is I, I realize it's not really a defense going, hey, this is really expensive, therefore it should look good. Right. right. No, no, that's, oh, yeah, yeah. God, that's, no. that's not right. valid. Right. Well, well of I course not. You but that's what you said. Show. Lady Gaga's meat suit was expensive. Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Tom, looking back on it, what would, what would, well, no, let me ask Christy, because clearly what? Tom didn't know what to say. Uh, in this world, you are a man, mm -hmm. and a woman com uh, comments, hey, nice leather jacket. What would a woman want to hear back if she's kind of flirting? What would be a good response from that guy that wouldn't seem cheesy, that wouldn't seem overly sexual, but more just like a mm. good way to get that, com because she's, uh, you know, it's it's very difficult for men to kind of first gauge if a woman is interested, and then like what kind of response she's looking for. Because we 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 know we're at this point. If she thinks we're cute, we're only gonna talk our way out of something. Oh, I'm glad that you really like my jacket. So do I. Do you, are you interested in where I purchased it or where I got it or something? And then you start the conversation. That's what you'd like to hear as yeah. the woman, hmm. or are you the man? I'm the man. Oh. Mm. Al, how do you feel about this? <laughs> she asks me. Uh, that's an, what does she hey, say? I'll say here. Hey, what? that's oh, a really yeah, nice Christy. leather jacket you're wearing. You know, I'm relieved to hear you say that. I wore it in the hopes that you'd be here. Oh boy, now oh. that's a flirt. That's a come on. <laughs> wow. I, <laughs> does that is that too strong or is Maybe it okay? A little. Uh, I, a little what about where does the bedroom floor? Uh, yeah. <laughs> was, let's try, try it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, try, yeah, try it again, please. Great okay, on you, naked. But oh. Oh. Uh, excuse me, sir. That is a very nice little Have jacket. sex with me! <laughs> <laughs> no? Too forward? Okay. Now, Pat, uh, yeah. <laughs> jo, I, I, don't know if you, I don't know if you're aware of this, Al, but uh, Pat has become vegan. And, uh, oh, good for now, you. Now, Pat, are Thank you, you still wearing leather shoes? And are, yeah, and, it's about my health, not about... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Not about the health of the animal. My integrity. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to say, uh, uh, lady, why don't you feel my jacket? You know what this uh, is made out of. It's uh, boyfriend material. Oh, oh that's, that's right. right. Is that right? I love that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we did hear that That one. is so good. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, Al, in any event, you look very nice with your two pocket shirt. And, well, uh, and your you. jeans. Al Jackson is featured on the DBL, the Daily Blast Live. And I am. Do they let you dress yourself, or do you have? Do they have to pick out stuff you're allowed to wear? Are there, are there limits? No, there's a. We have a stylist, uh, stylist uh, Ebony, who keeps me very stylish. I have learned more about clothes and patterns from her. She's like one of those people. She's just like good at everything. Like she can sew and do everything. But just like they, I wish I knew her back in the day because I would have saved a lot of money because it's really not like the expensive like leather jacket that you have. It's about having a couple like solid colors and just understanding patterns off her. But I, I've learned a lot. Like I, it's for the first time in my life when I'll go to the grocery store after work or something, like men, like regular straight dudes would just be like, like, where'd you get that? Or how'd you put that together? Because I think a lot of guys, including myself, like wanted to know how to not dress like you 
are in GQ, but just want to level up a little bit. So like a woman goes, you look nice today. Like that, that I think are, that would, well, I think that does a lot that. for me. Al, are you comfortable asking uh, other guys uh, <laughs> like, hey, where'd you get those shoes? No, or? no, you never do that. <laughs> Don't ever do that, Tom. I did that to you this morning. I know, and I you said, shouldn't. Because you have these weird tennis shoes on. And I no, said, hey, they're not weird. They're fine. <laughs> and they're, 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 Which they're, orthopedic store are you returning that's those That's right. They're uh, from, and they're from Portugal, you said. Um, I didn't say that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Uncle Artie's Portugal World. Okay, sorry. Right? They were smuggled over in a beer store. Okay, I'm talking you to must Al. know. Al, are you comfortable if you're in the grocery store? Would you walk up to a guy and say, uh, "Hey, where'd you get those are kind of cool shoes. What are those?" Or is that does that sound like like a gay come on? Well, of no. course it does. <laughs> no, it's not because it, it's weird. It happens to me a lot. And you were talking about that expensive uh, <laughs> jacket you have. The thing that people have commented uh, most towards me when, when we're talking about gay come ons <laughs> is a lot of guys have just. Come up to me with the glasses that were on the show and been like, "Where do you, where'd you get those?" Mm -hmm. They'll ask me about those, or and I and I have a pair of shoes that my old assistant made, and they're really cool. They're hand painted, and men will come up, but you can tell it takes a lot. Where I feel like women would be like, "Where'd you get those shoes?" I got similar ones at Macy's, but the, uh, you know, I got these at, at DSW. They were half off. Like mm -hmm. women will have a whole conversation about how much cheaper they got it than the oh, other yeah. woman. Where men will like it takes a lot for a guy because we men get locked on a track of dress and a, and they're like this is how I dress and it's hard when you see something you like it's hard to be like oh there are other stores I can buy things well that mm -hmm. wouldn't go with anything else I have so it's like this weird thing with dudes now Josh would you be comfortable walking up to a guy and say hey where'd you get those are kind of cool shoes where'd you get those yeah I wouldn't have any problem I, I rarely do I do that but uh, I wouldn't have a problem with it Okay. And I wouldn't have a problem with a guy asking me where I got mine. No, I don't think... Why would you have a problem with that? I, just, I, I, don't, I, I do it. I'm just wondering if, if, I'm, if it's bothering people. Yes, it is. Well, <laughs> yeah, it might, it might be. It might it, be. It sounds like we're not talking about what I think we, we were. I think you bother just, people. You, you, we, we know this. You're the only one who doesn't know that you bother people. <laughs> I like to engage in life. I like to be out there having fun and talking to people. And Yes, but you engage like the cop from Dragnet. So people don't know if you're making a YouTube video with them. Yeah. Like, because you're so, you are, like, Tom was born to be the, if you think about it, the straight man is always the famous guy. Johnny Carson did, you know, mm -hmm. like the, you need the straight man. But Tom is like that in real life. So when Tom is like, where did you get those shoes? People think that he thinks that they were shoplifting. Like he, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like There's always some other, right, right. Exactly right. right. Implication. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's cool. That's classic. <laughs> Al Jackson's there. I guess Al, the, the point of the program, of course, is you're trying to help me get hipper. Uh, with the yes. the latest in language, it's and, working. Uh, Chicks are hitting in, hitting on you at the Panera Bread. Yeah, yeah. Well, there yeah, you go. Uh, and, uh, Al, what's my word for today? <laughs> oh, Tom, we got uh, we have one that's an acronym that okay. I need you to figure out what it is and then what it means. Okay. So if I text, uh, if I text Josh, man, Christy really has MCE today. What would I be saying? I will give you, I'll give you, would you like the first word or the last word? Yeah, I'm going to give you a hint. Uh, is the last word energy? Yes. Oh, good for you. Um, well, the, the, I know what the That's C really is. That's really good. My first two guesses on the C I know are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that's not um, nice. <laughs> uh, is it a negative or a positive? Uh, I guess it's negative, but it's not like horrendously negative. Not like you were thinking. No, no, no. I mean, is it like is it like she's got mad yeah. cat energy, man? Mad cat. She's like an no. angry cat. She's gonna claw me. No. Mm. No. Okay. Sorry. So it's something. MC Anybody else have an idea? Major. And since oh. since, you, since you guessed the last word, I'll tell you the first uh, word is main. M A I N. Yes. Oh yeah, main main character, right? Yes. Yeah. Main yes. character. Yes. Why can It's all about her. Yeah. yeah. It's all oh. about story. Yeah. That is, oh. What a walk-off a, home run that was. Good job, Chick. Oh, yeah. MCE, Chick, I like that. Where did you go? Chick, that was Oh, impressive. I'm something, John. I'm something, Al. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm something. All right. So, Tom, he Chick laid it out perfectly. Main character energy.
you know, just like... I'll it, tell you what, I was in this, uh, I had this weird dream, and it was all about the world's biggest athletic shoe store. And the star was Chick McGee. Man, he had MCE. No? Uh, no. <laughs> Even when Chick gave you both answers. <laughs> I, no, it, it would be like... Uh, you know, if if uh, if we went to Christie's latest, uh, you know, her her reception uh, with her new dude, and you know, I was there and I was talking to you guys about proposing to my girl and should I do it? And then I'm asking her when's her day. It's just like, man, mm -hmm. Al really had main character, and it's not his day. It's about Christy and her dude, you know. So it's mm -hmm. like gotcha. when you're making it about oh. you, and it is absolutely not your. Time. time. It's like, why are you even focused on yourself right now? This is not you. We're at a four-year-old's birthday party. Which I will say, as a former drinker, uh, that, you know, my, my drinking tailed off as me and my friends had kids that were, you know, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the drunkest get-togethers. Is I feel like people in their 30s with young kid birthdays were like, you could like, oh, grandma's here. And it's daytime. Mm. There's a bouncy house, so the kids are occupied. And there's just, and like everybody's got a real job, so like you can get the good booze. <laughs> oh, those are some. Wow. <laughs> yes, you sound nostalgic. <laughs> oh man, the having your kid. There's nothing like when your kid calls a lift for your family <laughs> and uh, then arranges for your car to be picked up because dad's dad's rubber legs over there. Okay, so yeah, a, uh, uh, <laughs> the best use of this would be well, uh, yeah, I went to the wake. And I'll tell you what, uh, I'm not sure what was going on, but uh, Christy I just had that uh, MCE going. Yeah. Well, it was all about her. <laughs> at, right. at, at the wake. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's already dead. Let's wake. talk about me. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, and yeah. exactly. Yeah. Standing, I'm standing, good here. standing next to the corpse going, hey, my boyfriend's moving in this week. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. MCE. <laughs> I this, got it. This is random. That that's it. Well, Chick got it. Let's yeah, be honest. I did. Let's call it what it is. Chick, uh, Chick, that was amazing. Let's try and get one more in because All right. uh, okay, you know, this is a this is a tough one, but it's not if you don't panic. Okay. All and right. It's very similar to something else that you know. What are drops? D drops. D R O P S. Yes. Hmm. Okay, and it's it's not like dropping an album, or um, no, releasing but something. That, that's a good. That's a good guess, but no. Um, that's a good guess. Is it? It's not. Not teardrops. No. Um, blood drops. Um, no. Chocolate, that's chocolate that's drops. <laughs> Eye drops. They're vanilla drops. Are they diamonds? <laughs> uh, that's you're in the right room now, Josh. Mm -hmm. Like nice. You're in the right. Oh, oh is it like ear earrings, uh, earrings? Earrings. Earrings. N not even just earrings. Just like the the latest newest stuff. It's you like think you hear the word you yeah like drip uh, like yeah oh, right. respect yeah. the drip. It's got yeah, a lot of right. drip. Yeah, right, right. it's like drops are like oh the new Jordan just dropped. Right. Oh uh, this this oh. new Rolex only made five hundred oh. and just dropped. So so he, you would say something like uh, uh, Chick is throwing one of his year end parties. You know it's going to be full of of single women there. I'm putting on my best drops, and I'm head, I'll am i be there at like oh. seven. Ah, oh, the newest, coolest stuff. Gotcha. So, I mean, that yeah. would apply to Chick this morning. When he walked in, I said, hey, man, those shoes, those yeah. are uh, those are really cool. Those are those, did you, did you just get those drops? <laughs> did I do it right? <laughs> yes, but then you don't ask it like. <laughs> oh, sorry. Like, uh, yeah, they, like you have to do it with a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, uh, cool. just real MCE yeah. Yeah. behind you. Yeah, you oh, got to so, put that MCE yeah. behind you So right it's, it's, it's 4.30 in the morning, and. Chick walks in, and we're all oh exhausted and beat. Hey, man, nice drops. Oh, boy. <laughs> you talk like yes. the first teacher in uh, th in a movie like Dangerous Minds that comes in and tries to relate to the kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> but is immediately drummed out. <laughs> and then they have to bring in Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> Uh, I'll teach you Shakespeare if you show me how to break dance. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Al Jackson is our guest. So, Al, real quick, I don't. We don't have many time, but are, uh, yes or no? Are you in the process of writing a movie? Yes or no? Uh, I am n not right now. Do you have a, a novel or a movie in your head? I, I've already written a screenplay. Uh huh. There we go. There we go. What? What's, what's it called? Yeah. No. Uh, group group text. Oh, oh, I like the title already. Uh, yeah. 
What's the matter? Nothing. You can't do this. Just ask him questions out of the blue. I heard about last week. Let's move on. <laughs> this is, I didn't know if Tom was uh, setting me up. Yes, yeah, what, what? anybody wants to, to yeah. invest in my my movie, what? please, I'll, I'll put you guys all in it. No, I just, uh, yeah, Al is a wise man. I mean, he's got so many great stories. I was wondering if he was incorporating them into a screenplay or a, a novel. Well, uh, Tom, that, weirdly, that's what it is. It's about me and Hannibal and all the homies going on tour. And it's really like a black male sex in the city with on a comedy tour where it's like it, it's all jokes, but then there's like some serious stuff. You can know, you, can you so write can you write a part for me where I, I come in as the awkward guy trying to be one of your friends? You could be the you could be the tour man. No, you could be the bus driver. You would have a lot of a lot of lines. Oh, all right. Well, thanks, Al. Al Jackson. Watch him on the Daily Blast live right now. I want to talk about being in the comfort of your home and feeling safe. And secure, warm in the winter, cool in the summer. Mm -hmm. Thanks to our friends at Simply Safe, Chick McGee brought this to my attention. That's right. It'll keep your compound safe and secure and get you and yours peace of mind. Simply Safe comprehensive protection for the whole family. Advanced sensors that detect break ins, fires, floods. It's powered by 24 7 professional monitoring, costs less than a dollar a day, half the price of traditional home security. Simply Safe prioritizes your privacy. Indoor security cameras are the only ones in the market. At Simply Safe with physical privacy shutters to ensure your privacy 24 7. Satisfaction guaranteed. Try Simply Safe for 60 days risk free. If you don't love it, return your system for a full refund. Keep your home and family safer than ever in the new year. And as a Bob and Tom Show listener, you can save 20% on your new system with a fast protect plan just by visiting simplysafetom.com. Customize your system in just minutes at simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. You can do it. Read the reviews. It's great. You're going to feel a lot better, and it's something you can do on your own. Check it out. Simplysafe.com uh, 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 and uh, simplysafetom.com. Check that all out for me, please. Now, when we come back, Christy, what do you got over there? Well, we're going to talk about you and your awkward situations. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh, this You're is welcome. the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Christy. Hey, Chick. Have you seen the banana video? <laughs> Who hasn't? Pretty proud of you. Impressive. Thanks. Yeah. I was just wondering what, uh, what you could uh, do with my banana. Your banana? Yeah. Hmm. Well... Now, the Bob and Tom Show presents Christy Lee eating a banana. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... Oven baked cheese from Gardeners, Wisconsin Cheese.com. They hooked us up as well. And our listeners with that great oven baked bundle, which you can get yourself if you'd like. Check them out at Gardeners, Wisconsin Cheese. You hear dot com. You hear uh, Josh talking about it during the show. And man, I'm not kidding. He brought in that eight year old aged cheddar cheese from Gardeners. Oh my gosh. I've never had better cheese. I didn't know that's what cheese was supposed to taste like. At any rate, it's not a commercial. I'm just telling you, it's great. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 
I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom sports update. The NBA yesterday, Pascal Siakam traded to the Pacers on Wednesday night from the Raptors. He was a two-time All-NBA selection, two-time All-Star, and part of the team that won the 2019 NBA title with Toronto. Winners in the association last night, Minnesota, Boston, Toronto, Cleveland, Atlanta, New York, New Orleans, Lakers, and Portland. From the NFL, it's been announced that Mike McCarthy will get another chance to end that nearly 30-year stretch without a playoff run for the Dallas Cowboys. Owner and general manager Jerry Jones said Coach McCarthy will be back for a fifth and final season as coach after a stunning 48-32 wild card loss to Green Bay. And Patrick Mahomes hitting the road for the first time in the NFL playoffs. The Chiefs visit the Buffalo Bills Sunday evening in the biggest playoff match coming up this weekend. Top 25 college basketball yesterday. Number one, UConn beat Creighton. Number four, North Carolina. Number five, Houston. Number eight, Kentucky. Number 12, Arizona. Number 13, Auburn. And number 15, Oklahoma all win. And LSU upset number 22, Mississippi. And in the NHL, Montreal beat New Jersey 3-2. And the Wings skate in overtime, beating Florida 3-2. to two. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. The Dallas game was so embarrassing, the village people have asked the Cowboy to leave. <laughs> oh, oh. It, is, it is rough. It's the second worst day in Dallas history. Hashtag oh. JFK. Great. In case we didn't get it. Hashtag <laughs> JFK. <laughs> this game really aged Jerry Jones. He was only 46 years old at kickoff. Whoa. <laughs> he did not look good. Oh, he, shocking. he did not look good. Packers, receivers were wide open. You'd expect better coverage in a stadium sponsored by AT. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. You don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Coming this Thursday on ABC. He's the luckiest guy alive. It's Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Look, Cindy, it's this darn brazier. It keeps pinching. Oh, oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Feeling fine. Yeah, yeah oh, mine's pinching oh, yeah. a bit too. Let's just take them off. Okay. <laughs> Hello. He's living rent free and getting an eyeful. Cindy, what do you think of my new negligee? Do you think it fits? Oh, yeah, it looks great. What do you think of mine? <laughs> She's invisible and insatiable. Gee, Cindy, this bed sure feels lumpy. Boy, that's uncomfortable. Come to Papa. You know you want it. <laughs> invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates, followed by the fast-paced action of pro basketball with a moral twist. Meet Carl Goodman, Amish power forward. <laughs> we have worked together, my friends. We shared the ball with he who was open and were blessed when two points were bestowed upon us. Now we must pray. Oh, merciful God of all It's Carl Goodman, Amish power forward, right after Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Thursday on ABC. Ye be thar. <laughs> hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. If you're not, you're a communist. Joining us in the studio, comedian Mark Eubanks. Did you go to college down in... Uh... I went to college in uh, University of West Virginia, Morgantown, West Virginia. Oh, really? I was a mountaineer. Hmm. Well, why would someone from Florida go to college in West Virginia? Uh, because you didn't have to be real smart to get into school there. <laughs> 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 Basically, showing up got you that piece of paper. Yeah. Oh. Valedictorian was a 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> On the breathalyzer. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential morning radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. Deal's coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here we all are. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Tom. I see Chicky and Christy <laughs> and uh, Joshy and Patty Hi. and uh, AC. Uh, we got in a joke today? 
Well, I was just going to say, I, 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 I got that preliminary sniff. You, know, oh. you, you get out of your car, you can smell. Oh, that's a... Smell that's, the humor? Smells like pancakes. Oh, like a dead body? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Paper, <laughs> uh, paper mill? Yeah. A rendering plant? So no, it's time for some quality, John. Uh, quality jokemanship. Who's that hey. sexy man with a deep voice? Mm. Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. New Year, so I decided to get back in the uh, dating pool. So I, I joined a dating site for pyromaniacs. Really? really? It's going to be really cool. They've already sent me a couple matches. <laughs> that was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. <laughs> Good <laughs> Lord. See, words have different meanings. Good <laughs> God. <laughs> I like that very much. I thought it was going to be like a hot, cute. hot date. Yes. No, no, it's matches. Very, yeah. very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much, Ace. Uh, <clears throat> Quality, quality comedy. You think so? Uh, now, uh, coming up, we have uh, etiquette and some expert about uh, etiquette. Mm -hmm. In uh, awkward situations. Awkward things. And as you guys said, I'm a walking awkward situation. I yep. try, try you, my best. You appear and it automatically makes it awkward. Okay. But right now, uh, Christy Lee's at the news desk. She's in charge. What have you got? A California city council will consider changing the name of a street that has been raising eyebrows for years. According to CBS News, the Pupinot Court, located in Rancho Cordova, <laughs> takes its name from Pupinot. It's a valley in Yosemite. Doesn't this sound like the astronaut corps from Uranus? <laughs> the uh, Pupinots? The Pupinots. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why we find ourselves here <laughs> oh, yes. talking about this? Absolutely. Uh, would you want to build a house on Pupinot? I, uh, with a name like that, it's I be once, beautiful. I once refused to look at a house. I know you did. Because yes. of the name of the street. Yeah. Do you remember what it was? I can't say on the radio. Oh. It would, oh. yes, it's How right, it's it? about a mile from here. It just, oh. I, it was just, I, no, I'm not going to be telling people I live on, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you don't want to live on, booty <laughs> hole <laughs> <laughs> court. The street name has been around for 18 years, and while some residents. You know, on Bum Center Road. <laughs> it's a cul-de-sac. <laughs> Overhead. Yeah, there's Bum Center Court. Well, first of all, you take... Uh, you can see the spikes. You take Pussy Sack over to... Uh, oh, what? it is Pussy. Yeah, okay. oh, Pussy Sack. Oh, yeah. I always thought... The street name has been around for 18 years, and while some residents think it's harmless fun, others are embarrassed by it. Sure. The city sent out a survey to nearby residents about the street. No, it's 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 Poopanaut court, right? Right. So they want to change it to what? To Poopinot Avenue? <laughs> yes, it's far less embarrassing. Remember that, that classic Franklin Delano Roosevelt joke? <laughs> Did you ever hear that one? It goes back quite a ways, obviously. No. Uh, I would yeah, think. This, this was for the, the anti-Roosevelt people. It was Roosevelt in space or something? No, it was, uh, yeah, i, I got to change my name. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. You know, you know, yes. uh, what, What's your what's your name? It's <laughs> uh, Franklin Delano, then S-word. Oh, I can see what you want to change. What are you going to change it to? It is Joe S. Word. You see the, the implication being that Mr. Far worse Mr. Roosevelt didn't have a lot of fans ah. at one point. But, uh, the huh. city has sent out a survey to nearby residents about the street, and several new names have already been suggested. The Rancho Cordova City Council is now scheduled to discuss the name change later this week. But it's currently right. Poopanaut. Poopanaut. How is it spelled? P O O P E N A U T. All right. Yeah. Isn't that what they call the. Uh, the, uh, the plumber on the space station. <laughs> yes. I ain't got the pooping on up here. We got, we, we, we got yeah. a problem with the U joint. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll take care of it, fellas. Yeah. What would you crap or not? You Ruskies <laughs> sure can dump. <laughs> oh, have you seen that new, uh, what do you know about the new movie, uh, International Space Station? Or the looks tense. It looks really interesting, doesn't it? I, yeah. I'm kinda... They're up there, Tom. Some yeah. Americans and some Russians, they're up there, and they're oh, looking yeah. at the Earth, and all of a sudden they just see mushroom clouds appearing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. And so then they go... They get orders to so, essentially kill the Russians on the ISS. And, and, and then and vice versa. They go, well, if we got the orders, yeah. you know they did too. Yeah. And they're just it's just a standoff in space. Yikes. It looks real tense. You tell me that oh. don't sound great, huh? Yeah. That sounds interesting. I, I just hope uh, I, I learned how to watch movies with Tom. I just hope there's some fine jokes in there. That's what I hope. <laughs> like rather light humor. Rather humor free. Yes. Uh, well, Schindler, ISS, huh? Schindler's list of uh, very <laughs> few jokes in that. Uh, Although I thought that at the end when they had the, well, out, when they were the, the, the outtakes, uh, the, those outtakes were hilarious. <laughs> with Dom DeLuise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's he doing in this one? <laughs> Don Rickles walks in. Hey, nice suit. <laughs> <laughs> Rickles doing a danger field. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> well, I uh, the, the so Poopinot takes its name from 
Yosemite oh. National Park. <laughs> the Shakespeare. Still, There's a valley stays, there. He's got, get ready for the next five to seven days. <laughs> We're talking about pooping on. No, it's from Shakespeare. We're going to have songs. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah. To poop or poop or not? No, that is the question. I think you better poop now, Romeo. <laughs> poop her up now, uh, Ron. Uh, a dump by any other name. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Uh, Christy, you got anything else over there? Scientists are warning that deadly fire ants are forming rafts to travel across floodwaters in Queensland, Australia. Have you seen the videos of this? They're no. amazing. It is incredible. <laughs> it, is, it is. They are just rafts it, it, of it, ants. It looks, yeah. It, what's, that, what's that flotilla? Oh, it's their deadly fire yeah, ants. Please. <laughs> we need to get away from that. Don't now. lie down on that. Reese Biana of the Invasive Species Council warned the recent heavy rainfall and wild weather in the region could accelerate the spread of fire ants, one of the world's most invasive species. Fire ants can range from large floating floating ra- can form large floating rafts which move with water currents to establish footholds in new areas. Just crazy. Piata urged residents to be on the lookout for globs of ants floating atop floodwaters. What's her name? Piñata. Piata. Stand around and hit her Piata. with bats. I What's know, her? right? P I A N T A. Pianata. Originally from South America, the red imported fire ant is an omnivora species that destroys crops and livestock alike. Its venomous sting causes pustules and allergic reactions and can kill a human. No good. No good. Yeah, there are photographs of this thing. It looks like a, a frisbee floating. Made of ants. Made, it's made of ants. Yeah. You, uh, you ever hear about are they an catching omni- them with big nets? What are they doing? Uh, they're, they're, about, they're, uh, they're getting anteaters in canoes. And they uh, oh, go that'd out. that'd be great. <laughs> oh, okay, Just sticking nice. their snouts in the water. Yeah, I'm so right. happy. Okay, maybe I made that up. You ever have an Omni s'more? It's no. just like regular, only with lunch meat on it. <laughs> <laughs> really good. So you get half. You get you get the chocolate, little, marshmallow, yeah. graham cracker, and some bologna. Mm. Some bologna. Omni s'mores. <laughs> no? No, I, 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 I wonder if there's anyone who likes that. If anyone likes the combination of chocolate and bologna. I'm probably. Mm, sure there are. Yeah. You ever tried peanut butter and bacon? I haven't. It's nope. Well, now, I understand <laughs> that Elvis, his cook, had a secret to preparing the peanut butter. Yeah, didn't butter we talk to her once? And banana. Didn't we talk to her? That was peanut butter and banana. Yeah. And did. the secret was. Yeah. What, oh, there was yeah. a secret? Yes. You make the bread, you make toast, and then you deep fry it in the butter. And then you call your cardiologist and make an appointment for the heart transplant. Uh, when we come back, we have a special surprise. Omni s'mores. <laughs> let's let's have um, let's have Miss Hooker do uh, peanut butter and bacon sandwiches, and you'll you'll stop mocking me. I I I think I I would love that. I love bacon. I love peanut butter. I love. It, it's a it's a combination that you might not think is good. That's fantastic. All right. Like me and Ace. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain about that combination. The Ace, defiant ones. A- Ace and I went to the Kiss concert together. Yeah. I ditched them when we got there. How but long it was do you fun. think you guys should last with you handcuffed together? How long? <laughs> oh, boy. Like an hour? Is there a shower anywhere? Um, no, no, you got a shower. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules... to play my ukulele she strums it and she hums it she loves to sing an island song so won't you sing along ukulele baby you can play me you can lay me satisfy me in hawaii ukulele lady you can lay me my ukulele baby
twanger and a banger I love to play an island song So won't you play along My Honolulu baby likes to play my ukulele She picks it and she licks it She loves to sing an island song So won't you sing along Ukulele baby like a cheeky on my tiki Satisfy me in Hawaii Ukulele lady you can lay me My ukulele baby Ukulele baby rub your knocker with sunblock I wanna lay you in my maya Boys, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. So continue. We're in a gym today to find out what athletes need after they've had a big workout. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You look pretty, pretty sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, I just jogged five miles. I did the weights. Did some step aerobics. God, I'm dying. What do you need after a big workout like that? I could use a big glass of water. Water? Yeah. You don't want good. water. You uh-huh. need something to replace your bodily fluids. Get you back on your feet again. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Uh, all right, what do you got? Here, try this. Uh, what is it? Thirspiration Plus. Thirspiration Plus, huh? Replaces all your bodily fluids after a big workout. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> Jeez, what is that? It tastes like sweat. It is sweat. Oh. Well, with a little, little coloring. We added some carbonation. But what are you trying to do to me? Perspiration Plus replaces all your bodily fluids lost during a big workout. Perspiration Plus. Bodily sweat and icy cold gel. Come here, you crazy son of a bitch. I'm going to make you take a your shirt and your shorts for later. You're sick. Perspiration Plus. Lemon lime, tropical punch, or clear. <laughs> or clear. <laughs> Can I borrow your shorts for later? You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. You know, I found out that uh, I'm left-handed. Yeah? <laughs> All these years, I didn't even know, man. Didn't know. How'd didn't you know. know. It was it was Saturday. I was uh, I was brushing my teeth, and I looked in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get, get a new baseball glove. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That don't oh. make sense. But you got to know yourself, though. Yeah. Or, you know, I found out I, I can't eat rat poison either. No? <laughs> I'll be damned. I'm, I'm After po- all these years. I'm rat poison intolerant. <laughs> Tandy didn't know. Paramedic told me. Uh-huh. He, said, he said, stop eating rat poison. Uh-huh. So, you know, I quit. It Good. was tough, though. I, I It was tough. I had to go on the patch. You know, but uh, thank God for the patch, man. <laughs> Saved my life, man. Yep. They got patches for everything these days, chicken. They got patches for us. You want to quit smoking? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Birth control, they got a patch for that. Yep. Mm-hmm. If you got an eye missing... They have a patch yes, for that? Yes, they do. Yeah, and they on do. that note, we're taking off. This is the Bob and Tom Show. 
I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. Oh, that woke chick up. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, in my fantasy, I'm making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety uh, first. They don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, my God. There's laughter ahead. This- More details coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hi, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee. And here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much, busy, Chick McGee. Busy, busy, busy over there. Uh, I got a lot going on over here. Yes, you do. By the way, if, if I could give you a nice compliment, that scarf is fantastic. That is so, so nice. Uh, I know this is radio. No one can see it, but I can assure you. Is that Incan? Aztec? I like uh, it. The Native American? Yeah, it looks like it is. Very, very nice. Cool. Yeah, it's a nice pattern. Very, Made very out nice. of a merino wool. Mm. Oh, mm. nice. Oh. It smells, like, smells like an old lady. Mm. Oh, oh, look at that scarf. It arrived in my house. And it smelled like an old lady. Really? Have you ever had that happen? You get a package and it, sm- it still Does smells Does that mean like musty? Could it have been uh, made oh, by? It smells like old pudding. <laughs> old pudding. Old pudding. It's unbelievable. Pudding, pudding, pudding. You right. try to be nice stale, to him. Stale chocolate, I imagine. Steps, steps on him. Uh, now, we're going to be uh, using the uh, the uh, electronic aspects. I'm getting of all the colors of these. This room. We have the big screen up there. And yeah, I have the phone. Um, oh, we have the phone. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. This is on the phone. Okay. Um, we're going to be talking with. Uh, always has been the on the phone. Yeah. yeah. We always <laughs> have the. Hmm? Yeah. They never zoom in. It's on okay. the phone. Sorry. Uh, we're talking to Jeremy Childers, I believe. Jeremy, are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, you're on the phone. So I, I was looking That's up. That's right. It's time <laughs> down for the shoe of the week. I was looking at the big screen, Jeremy. Sorry. No, I'm on the phone, not on the screen. Okay, where are you physically? What? Uh, <laughs> Jeremy knows <laughs> Tom's oh insane. <laughs> I love it. What? what, what where, are, where are you physically, Jeremy? Yeah, yeah, where? I am physically in Marion, Ohio. It's uh, like an hour north of Columbus. Okay. Oh, okay. All, all right. right, all right. Now, are you up there by, um, have you ever heard of a little town called Chuckery? Is that there? No. Chuck- how about Bucyrus? Are you near Bucyrus? Yes. Oh, yeah, hey, uh, Bucyrus yeah. is, is just north of my town. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I, thought, I thought Bucyrus is something you got on your knee. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bucyrus. <laughs> some people uh, trying to be funny, and I'm one of them, uh, pronounce it uh, Bucky Russ because it's B U C Y R U S. Uh oh. Bucky Russ. <laughs> well, funny yep. stuff, man. Uh, Jeremy, congratulations. You were the week 16 oh. winner of our pigskin competition, and um, you won yourself, uh, by the way. I guess you have you already received your big green egg mini max? <laughs> Yes, I, I received it like a week or so ago. It's uh, yeah, it's great. I haven't tried it yet because it's so cold here. But sure. yeah, yeah. Now, did you also receive the Gardner's Wisconsin cheese oven baked bundle? Yes, yes, I did already. Oh, I, good. I also. I tried uh, one of the uh, savory s'mores that Josh mentioned. Oh, and it's, it's excellent. Fabulous. Yes, good, mm. good. I'm glad you like it. Where you take a slice of oh. uh, summer sausage, two crackers, and some of that oven baked yes. cheese. Mm-hmm. Yeah, summer sausage, Ritz cracker, air fryer. <laughs> now, it was delicious. now, have awesome. you tried my recipe for Omni s'mores where you take <laughs> the chocolate Very and the marshmallow sweet. and a, a slice of lunch meat and. Uh, <laughs> Being there from Central Ohio, not. you probably try brown schlager, I would guess. Oh, I love brown schlager. <laughs> oh, that's liver, Tom. I love liver. I, you and I are the only ones in this room that like liver. Yeah, we're Buckeyes. We're proud Buckeyes. That's exactly uh, Pat and I both likes like. yeah. liver. <laughs> Pat does not eat Pat doesn't no. eat meat anymore. But he loves it. No, I don't like it at all. I hate liver. <laughs> loves it. Can't get enough. <laughs> No, okay. no, I love yeah. you. You're right. I do love it. Hey, J- Jeremy, um, now, yeah. one of the first rules you learn on the radio is when you're talking to someone, never ask a question you don't know the answer to. Well, why do you okay. ask me stuff all the time that I don't know the answer to? Because I'm going to ask Jeremy stuff. I don't know what anything about Jeremy, except he's a, he's a smart football uh, picker. Well, yeah. you know. And I'm guessing, uh, being a north of central Ohio, your favorite professional football team is the Ohio State Buckeyes. Thank you. Oh, that's very funny. Are you are you a, a Browns fan, a Steelers fan, a Bengals fan, any of those? Uh, I'm a Steelers fan. Okay. No kidding. All right. Yeah, yes. of, yeah they're right there. You yeah. think Tomlin should? Yeah, uh, it's it's almost it's a, it's about the same distance almost from where I'm mm-hmm. actually mm-hmm. from Pittsburgh to Cleveland. Yeah, well, Pittsburgh has a, a much um, more grand tradition of winning. 
Now, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think uh, Mike yeah, Tomlin, head do. coach Mike Tomlin, should go, or is he he fine just where he uh, is? I think he's I think he's good. Okay. I, I think he should come back. Yeah, that's yeah. what I, I mean. Think he's never good. had a losing season in Ever. like uh, what seventeen years. That's wow. pretty good. I, seventeen years. He's never been. <laughs> yeah. under, never finished under five hundred. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about it. Yeah, but it never. seems to me a lot of these uh, coach firings are just knee jerk. Hey, you know mm-hmm. the coach can't do everything if the team can't execute. Hey, the ball was right. Yeah. He dropped it. Oh, fire the coach. Okay, mm-hmm. Jeremy, are we keeping? Are, you, are we keeping you from work, or are you, what do you do for a living? Uh, no, I'm at home right now. Uh, I, I work at a, a fun little, uh, small little store downtown. It, it, they, they sell like puzzles and toys and board games, huh. and paint, hobby supplies. It's, it's a pretty fun little place. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, what's yeah, the, it's, uh, it's a fun little. What's place. your What's your favorite puzzle? Oh, puzzle. Uh, they have a like an uh, an 80s like a movie puzzle that's really cool because it's, you know, it's got the Terminator and oh. you know I mean just all those old 80s retro like the retro puzzles. Oh, right on. Like the so it's physical that. stuff as opposed to video games. Yes, we do not have any of the video. Oh, that's games. good. It's all Is this... board game like uh, different monopolies and uh i think we have the uh, i think you guys used one of the games we sell uh, the ne- neanderthal game we we sell, we sell that i think there. oh yeah, yeah we had fun with that yeah. 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 Now, is this like yeah. a small uh small owned business uh, downtown in uh marion is that, is that yeah, what, yeah yeah it's like a little mom and pop place it's oh. a uh, little mom and pop place called curiosity curiosity oh, oh, sounds right. good That's sounds like jeremy yeah. works all, the old curiosity all show. kinds of places all right. okay. <laughs> now jeremy once again i have no idea i know very little about you so this is dangerous territory Uh oh. um <laughs> am i safe in asking you if you are a single man no i'm married uh i've been married since 2004 oh my god you know uh, you can get out of crazy. it right <laughs> holy hell whoa, 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 whoa. Your wife's crazy, you said? that's like almost 20 years your wife man. is crazy oh no tracy yeah, uh, now she is yes oh no. she doesn't she didn't start crazy though. no her name's she tracy started very nice now she's pretty i've probably yeah okay she, i'm sure she's lovely i'm sorry i asked oh uh, okay uh, once again our guest is uh, uh, jeremy childers from marion ohio the winner of week 16 of our pick em competition and um uh, chick mcgee has posted his picks you're picking all the games this weekend that's right picking them all two games saturday two games sunday a lot of people say the greatest weekend in the history of sports every year they say that this or march madness or well possibly super bowl weekend and of course that Anyway, Jeremy, here we go. Saturday in San Francisco, the uh, 49ers host the uh, uh, suddenly red hot. Uh, boy, that uh, that quarterback for the Packers knows what he's doing. Uh, Love. What's his name? Jeremy Love. Is it Jeremy? Jordan. Love? Jordan. Jordan Love. Are you sure? It's Jordan. Yeah, I, yeah, I think Jordan. so. Okay. Sure. Uh, the Packers are getting nine in San Francisco. Who do you like, Green Bay or the 49ers, Jeremy? Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Packers on Thank that you. one. Taking the Packers and the points, he says. Hmm. I am yeah. taking the Packers and the points as well. Yeah. He's exactly right. That's, yeah, okay. they're, they're, um, they're on fire. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens hosting the uh, C.J. Stroud, former Buckeye, mm. and the uh, Houston Texans. Houston getting eight in that one. Who do you like, Baltimore or Houston? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going with the Texans just because of I do not like the Ravens at all. I hate them. Oh, oh okay. Well, fair enough. Right. Um, and, and CJ. And I, CJ I, I watched and, CJ in, in college at the Ohio State. Sure. So that, that's fun to watch that's, him play and yeah. win. Uh, I like the Houston Texans plus the eight as well. And I like CJ Stroud. Yeah. And Lamar Jackson's a little uh, shaky in the playoffs. We all know it. We know right. no, nobody wants to talk right. about it. And uh, the Detroit Lions hosting another playoff game. Against the Tampa Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tampa getting six on Sunday. Who do you like, Detroit or Tampa? I'm going with the Lions on that one. I will take the Lions minus oh the six gosh. as well. Why don't you two get married? Wow, <laughs> we just might. Tracy might have to. Have, yeah, we'll have it. We'll be a throuple. <laughs> and uh, the Kansas City Chiefs finally, for the first time ever, Patrick Mahomes on the road during the playoffs. <laughs> Uh, Chiefs getting three in Buffalo against Josh Allen. Is he Superman? You never see him and Clark Kent together. Uh, Chiefs getting three. Who do you like, Kansas City or Buffalo? I'm going with Buffalo. As uh, I, I, I think I just don't like the Chiefs <laughs> Fair enough. anymore. All right. I'm, I'm done with the Chiefs. I take Buffalo minus three as well. Oh, unbelievable. This we has are, never happened before. And they're good. They're doing good, too. I mean, yeah. you know, they're, they're, they're 
much, much they better than they were. Last week. Right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. yeah, they look like they've, they've righted the ship. <laughs> There okay. you go. Well, uh, Jeremy, congratulations on some great picks. We'll see how they come ah. out. You mm -hmm. and Chick agreeing on everything. All right. Mm -hmm. um, uh, which is, let me ask you this, yeah, Not Jeremy. very dramatic, I guess. But. No, no, I, I can add a little bit of drama here. Of those uh, of those four games, which one are you most sure of? Which pick are you the most confident in? Uh, Who, me? Uh, or um, both of you, each of you. Uh, I'd say the Lions. Okay. All right. Uh, I think so, too. I think it's Over Detroit. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. Just kiss Sorry. each other already <laughs> on the lips. A big, big time tongue, all hey, tongue. <laughs> okay, Jeremy, well, th thanks for playing. I'll see you at Curiosities later, Bear. Uh, Tell that wacky uh, wife of yours right. we said, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah. Well, see you, man. I tried to uh, rescue. I tried to yeah. save you, Jeremy. We'll have to check out Curiosities when we're yeah, in, uh, in Marion, Ohio. Okay. Uh, what, I have a what, wonderful day, wonderful uh, He's gone. <laughs> weekend. We lost him. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I think he said his wife's name was Tracy. He didn't That's say she I was thought. crazy. Yeah. Oh, no, no. He said she was insane. She, she yeah. said, she said crazy. she was crazy. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That's what yeah, I thought. I'm yeah. just excited <laughs> to meet her when we become a thruple. That's yeah. really exciting. That will be lovely. By the way, Miller Light, uh, some grapes. A thruple was like number six on the uh, porno list that you had. Oh, was it really? Mm. People, Is that right? People Googling thruple. Mm. Number five was Crazy Tracy. Isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good movie. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, what's coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, well, we have a uh, whale. Where am wow. I from? <laughs> I loved it. From Canada and wheel. Wheel. We are going to talk about handling awkward situations from our etiquette expert. At least she says she's an etiquette expert. I don't know what makes you one, but okay. Thank we'll you find very much. Out. Right now, I want to talk about the experts in sleeping. Those, of course, are the folks at the uh, Sleep Number Bed. The Sleep Number Smart Bed, by the way, just ranked number one in customer satisfaction. That's right. The Sleep Number Smart Bed, number one with mattresses purchased in-store as rated by the independent organization J.D. Power. Look it up. Go to J.D. Power 2023 Awards, and you'll see it right there, jdpower.com slash awards. Or uh, we can do a quick survey. We all love our sleep number beds. Uh, Christy Lee, your sleep number setting love is Love it. 35. That means on your sleep number smart bed, yep. you set it at 35. That means it's a relatively softer mattress. That's exactly right. On the other side of that bed, let's just say Chick McGee was over there. You uh, like what does your set? 100. I like the firmest of all settings. And uh, once again, at the touch of a button, you can adjust that. Mm. You don't want to get a TV set that gets one channel. You don't want to get a bed that has one firmness level. Sleep number recognized that years ago and has they, they have perfected the adjustable firmness level on the Sleep Number bed. The Sleep Number smart bed, I call it a smart bed because it is smart. It'll help you pick the right, the right level for you and uh, for your bod, if you will. Once again, it's uh, the Sleep Number smart bed bed. Information about J.D. Power, like I mentioned, jdpower.com slash awards. See what they have to say. Here's what I've got to say. Right now, you can save 40%, a staggering 40% on the Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed. This is a limited time offer. You can get all the finance information at your Sleep Number store to find it. Just go to sleepnumber.com slash show. The store can give you all the details. Once again, saving a whopping 40% on the Sleep Number Special Edition Smart Bed. I know I love my Sleep Number Bed. Coming up, a little bit of a surprise. Oh. That's, oh, I'm very excited about it. This may be on the screen when we come back. Okay. Unfortunately, Jeremy was not. No, he wasn't. I'm no. sure he was a very handsome man. Yes. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Our guest in the studio is comedian Bert Kreischer, and uh, Bert is um, a veteran of the world of the party. He was uh, voted the number one party animal in the country by Rolling Stone magazine. Uh, Quite an honor. Many yeah, years ago. Honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, you carry the mantle to this day. Yeah. You're now the, I guess you'd be the, what, uh, party animal... Uh, Ex officio, what would the, uh, uh, what is the party title? animal cum laude? Guru, maybe? Mm -hmm. Guru to young boys, Could probably? Could be a guru. <laughs> yeah. yeah you'd be uh, maybe not. Now, you, you, you said you have two young daughters. Yeah, which is pointless because I have no advice for little girls. Uh -huh. Do you have advice for young men? I have tons of advice for young men. Are you really? me? Really? Yeah. yeah. Is this college-age men going yeah. to? Well, it's like, it's like well, you, have a, you have sons, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you know all the things. Do you have any girls? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. see? And you got nothing to, t to tell a little girl. Mm -hmm. well, so far, they've, they're in charge. They know what's going on. So. Yeah. I said, uh, I remember the first night we got my daughter. Or not got her, but had her. Or, you know, whatever. <laughs> I know. Right. And she was crying real bad, and the nurse was like, um, 
the nurse goes comes in and she's you know and wrapped up like a joint in a box. Uh-huh. <laughs> I guess that's what yeah, they. I yeah. uh-huh, uh-huh. And uh, mm. the nurse comes in and she, you are. That's what I thought it was. You are <laughs> you are a party animal. Okay. <laughs> she was like uh, she was like let's uh, what do you what have you done? I was like nothing. Mm-hmm. She goes what are you what are you gonna do? I was like I'll put a towel over her face and cut the oxygen in half. I don't know nothing. <laughs> and she goes here's what you do: take her head, put it by your heart, take your pinky, place it on her lower lip. Uh-huh. And allow her to draw it in. That'll calm her down. Uh-huh. So I do it. And sure enough, as soon as I put it on her lower lip, my daughter draws it in. Like she's trying to rip the nail off. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we're stopping this tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm not raising a daughter where that is her coping mechanism. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, and she gets a little spook. Yeah. Just, you know, no, thank you. <laughs> but I was very, I was massively un- unprepared for d- girls. I just didn't know. I never even listened to women. I literally. <laughs> Literally, I, the only advice I got, like, and this uh, for boys, mm-hmm. you ever get into a fight with a girl? This works every time. I did this with my wife. Twelve words. You are right. I am wrong. I love you, honey. You win. And you squash it. Really? Yeah. You take her in your arms, you carry her into the bedroom, and you cuddle like a team. Mm. Like a, like a unifi- like a coalition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Scratch her back and let her go to sleep. Together, happy. She won. Mm-hmm. And that night while she's sleeping, <laughs> cut her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot, just uh, a little just bit a little. so you know you won. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice for a boy, uh, unapplicable for a girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bert Kreischer is our guest. I'm glad we have this on tape because oh, you're going to be dead God. very soon, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm looking used uh, to as evidence, I think. Yeah, they're oh. gonna be, you're going to be uh, yeah. wheeled, out of, your, you wheeled out of your own home in a gurney. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Oh. It's forever, right? What am I counting the days for? You think guys doing life? In prison count the days? I don't think so. <laughs> you do your time. I'll do mine. <laughs> oh, no, I got out. Uh, you got out? Uh, yeah. Uh, I escaped. <laughs> hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Caught both while fishing, out the hallways on the mission, and they both hate the kitchen. Turtles at home. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24 7. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sex is so prevalent in our society that nobody mentions what happens if you keep having it. You know, that, uh, <laughs> I fell into, I think every porno movie should end with Hyapatia Lee giving birth to triplets. You know, just, <laughs> just a disclaimer, you know. <laughs> so everybody knows, you know, what you get, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm a stepfather, too. I'm a stepfather, too, which I've been for a few years now. And uh, if you're not a step-parent, you know, you don't realize the warmth and rewards that you get for the warm, loving feeling. And it's, I hate you. Okay, here's some more money. You know, that, you know you're not like my real dad. You know, that's right. You can find me. You know, I, <laughs> track, track down your real deadbeat dad and have him pay for these Barbie accessories. You know, I'd... you guys can't see the camera, but Christy just. just I have very like she was getting hands. ready to eat a giant Subway sandwich. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, by the way, Christy, I, I think maybe the reason it's been a while since you had a date is if that's your standard, <laughs> we're going to need a horse. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. No. Did you see her hands? Yeah, it? yeah. She, 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 was, a, she was very well like for herself. Holding a, she, she was about to drop whatever she was imagining because the grass was so wide. I was thinking of a sausage roll. Yeah. yeah well, Not okay. a penis. Well, all right. Show, show us how you hold the penis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do the penis hold, Christy. Now we're going to get rested again. Stop it. Depends on if it's one hand or two. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Well meaning, but Yeah, they're they're oh. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. 
Thank you very much. How you doing, Tom? I'm doing fine. All right, so over here uh, looking over some stuff here. Uh, nice morning, isn't it? Good morning. Yeah, beautiful morning. Not bad at all. This weird, uh, this weird list from the Pornhub website, I guess quite, it is. Quite a large analysis, isn't it? Yeah, they were looking at all the stuff that was uh, popular on their website, and I didn't. I was not aware of this uh, stuck, as you call it, stuck porn. Well, I didn't name it, but yeah, that is what Where it's called. The, uh, well, you're the one who came up with it and asked about it. Well, I was because I saw this and I was wondering what it was, and apparently it's when a like a woman is stuck in a washing machine and the guy comes in and. Oh, let me help you, ma'am. But before I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that Maytag repairman guy. Ooh, he's what, popular now. He Gordon it. Jump. <laughs> he missed out. <laughs> Gordon, yeah. Gordon Hump. Mr. Uh, Mr. Carlson, right, from uh, KRP. WKRP. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, we're prepared to. Oh, there we go. Oh. I, uh, there, I was just stalling here on the big screen. It's uh, it's uh, Mr. Jeff Oske. That's right. How's it going, everybody? Hi, Jeff. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. Is it, uh, is it uh, uh, casual, uh, casual Thursday at work today? What are you talking he's about? Right. Frog tie. Oh, uh, you're right. I went with a half Windsor today uh, instead of the full Windsor. Uh, Tom kind of noticed. A, kind of a flannel. Um, I'm doing it a day early because I got a, I got plans tomorrow night. Uh, Tom, can you fill them in? Uh, I get ready. Uh, sure. Uh, that's going to be a special show uh, featuring Mr. Jeff Oskey. What's, what's Jeff doing at the show? And Greg Hahn and Dave Dyer, all comedians, <laughs> Friday evening at the beautiful Meyer Theater in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Oh, you still great. haven't answered my question. I'm carrying the bags. Too. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, that is great. All right. That'll be a great show. Our favorite fireman, Dave Dyer, and uh, the uh, incomparable... Greg Hahn and Jeff Oski for that'll be a great, great show. Yeah, mm -hmm. right on. It's gonna be fun. Uh, get your tickets today. Uh, that being said, now it's time we give you a lot of the news, but we don't give you all the news. So I'm here to give you the news that we failed to mention. Now here's Jeff Oski with what you failed to mention news. Pew 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 pew. Uh, Mickey Mouse is now public domain. Well, you failed to mention, yeah, just last week I signed up for his OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> he does some freaky things with those big old ears of his. Uh. Oh, wow. A man uh, ripped apart his windpipe by trying to hold it in a sneeze. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, what you failed to mention, well, that's the last time I hold in a fart. Uh, last thing I need to do is blow out my colon. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, we were talking about the Pornhub. Pornhub. Pornhub searches. Uh, number one was, how do you pronounce it? Uh, 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 N-A or what? Hentai? H hentai. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's that again? Hentai. Hentai was the most searched thing on Pornhub last year. No, hentai is where you tie up a chicken. Ah, Ooh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> hentai was the most searched thing on Pornhub last year. What you failed to mention, the most searched thing on Google, how to delete my Pornhub searches. <laughs> <laughs> A woman celebrated her 105th birthday by visiting the firehouse and hanging out with firemen. What you failed to mention... Old lady had a four alarm fire in her granny panties. Ooh. Ooh. No? Okay. Really her enjoyed herself. Fire alarm. Fire hot. Like her. yeah. A uh, woman who bought a vase at Goodwill found out it was worth over $100,000 when she sold it. What well, you failed to mention, the woman spread her goodwill by keeping 100% of the profit. Nope. <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> There's a uh, pink Stanley Cup frenzy going on at Target. What you failed to mention, down the road at Walmart, there are currently two guys duking it out over the last sleeve of red Solo cups. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say right now, I mean right now. 9 a.m. They're throwing fists. Um, a phone that uh, fell from a airplane was still working. Uh, what you failed to mention, of course it was. They had it on airplane mode. Oh, 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 okay. Right. Uh, that was a, uh, a listener submission. Uh, I'm not going to give his name just out of how badly it went. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was kind of it was all right. sweet yeah, and nice. I, liked yeah. it. I mean, it was good enough. I wrote it down and said it again. <laughs> did not get much of a response. Sorry there, uh, Justin. Uh, <laughs> vegans. Vegans are less likely to catch COVID. What you failed to mention, see, even COVID hates vegans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, post offices in Europe are experimenting with dressing rooms so clients can try on clothes and then immediately return them if needed. Well, you failed to mention here in America, our post office 
are experimenting with stamp liquors. Oh. Cottonmouth, step on, step on over to old Saliva Sal's window. He'll wet your stamp for you. Should I, should I have went with Drooly Dave? Oh. Uh, saliva oh. Sal is pretty good. Yeah. Very good. Or Tucky hey. Tammy. Oh. Oh. Uh, we learned that fruit bats hold the cure for diabetes. What you failed to mention, unfortunately, they taste horrible. <laughs> <laughs> they don't taste like fruit at all. Oh. <laughs> and <awesome>. finally, <laughs> a dude was lighting farts in his bed and caught his pants on fire. What you failed to mention, his sleep number, 911. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jeff Oskin. This has been the news that we what you failed, failed to mention. mention. News. Hey, Jeff Oskin. Have fun uh, in Green Bay. Yeah, safe travels yeah. to Green Bay. Yeah, that's a t Meyer Theater tomorrow night, Green Bay. Uh, uh, if, if you're, maybe you're a little down, things mm -hmm. are kind of rough, you've been freezing cold, go check out Greg Hahn, Dave Dyer. And it's Jeff an husband. edible burrowing private, uh, no, bivalve mollusk. Really? It's a, per, it's a, the what? An it's a little mollusk, like a little muscle. That's one like thing. A I muscle could, or there's the old Irish song, the cockles and mussels alive. And then there's down. a small, shallow boat is also called a cockle. Ah, okay. Well, you know, who wants a warm boat? Oh, know. yeah, I don't know. But Maybe you want a warm but... cockle, one of these edible What mollusks. I was trying to say was um, uh, you're going to get a bunch of laughs tomorrow night. Green Bay, Meyer Theater, Han, Dyer, and Aske. That's going to be a killer show. Mm -hmm. uh, just a great, great show. Now, I'm sorry. Uh, Christy Lee, what do you got Jeff, over there? Jeff uh, mentioned vegans and the COVID thing, and we all know that Pat's a vegan now. Yes. Yeah, I never so heard the I end of it. Oh. Digging in the green room to find something to eat because I'm not vegan, I found these. I don't know, Tom, you if you've seen these. They're popped water lily seeds huh? from the Asha Pops Corporation. I didn't know you could eat water lily seeds. I didn't either. I didn't even know they're, there was a water and lily And they're vegan cheese flavored. Oh. So, <laughs> How are they? Have you tried them? Oh, God, no, I haven't opened them. Here, let's try them. Here, here. Open, we, that, yeah. open that up. Hold in there, babe. Hold in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they're, they're, the, they're the seeds from what? Water, water lilies. lilies. Popped water lily seeds. Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese. Hmm. I, I was not aware. Well, you know what? Jess Hooker organizes all that stuff. I'm sure she tried to she find was, I'm sure. Something sure. that accommodates. Nice. Yeah, of course. Right. Godwin would like. You want to yeah. try some? Uh, Are they Asha Pops? Here, okay. Ash. Oh, wait a minute. I want to. I want to throw these. So. Oh, they're gonna go. Is everywhere. the is there like a Claude <laughs> Monet uh, artwork on the front? No, I mean, they're just. They, they look like kind of like corn chips. How are they? Chick? I mean, corn pops. Throw, throw one my way, will you? They don't really have any sort of distinctive flavor <laughs> at all. I oh, disagree. I think it's very distinctive. Really? What does it taste like? Maybe my taster's off. Um. Okay. That oh, is, I got a good one. That is not for me. <laughs> um, Those aren't bad. Really? Those aren't bad. They're, okay. Are they like cheese puffs? These are, they're the size of a, like, oh, like man. a cotton ball. <laughs> water lilies? You don't like the water reconstituted water I love water looking lilies? at water lilies. They're very beautiful, but I didn't know you could eat their seeds. <laughs> What's the matter, Josh? <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like cardboard with cheese on them. Not I'm only not. did Josh not like the taste, he's angered by it them. Looks very I mean, bad. the aftertaste. Is as strong as anything. Yeah, it tastes like ass. <laughs> That's I called ass a pops. Or ash pops. Oh, ash pops. That's the big, name of the uh, company. Big thumbs up over here. Really? Oh, yeah, good, right. good. Have you tried these, Pat? No. No, we oh, just wow, opened no. them. In yeah, you're, here. They're very heavy aftertaste. Huh. It, okay. that, it's the fake cheese, I think. It really has ruined my the, week. The seeds have no taste at all. It's just crunchy. <laughs> that ruined your yep. week? Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry I brought it up. Gargle with gasoline. Well, between that and. And uh, women being upset after you give them an engagement. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> that you, that you, got you got it for free. free. Holy hell. I guarantee that would not go over well. You're I just wild. had no idea that women were that... Materialistic? Yes. <laughs> well, no, but that implies, other than, uh, obviously, uh, an heirloom handed down from... Uh, right. uh, but I understand that. Once again, you, you the, 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 scenario, uh, the scenario was if a woman was presented with an engagement ring that uh, was gentleman. very nice and very valuable, but had been f was free, Yes, no it would be of less value. Yeah. Right, to the woman, yeah. No matter how much it was. Well, yeah. give you what? thousands of dollars to spend on your exactly. wedding and, and honeymoon. I know. Right. The I guy, know, so the guy could go, hey, no, no, we're going to take the money that I would have spent, and we're going to put a down payment and, and, on a house. No. And what's the formula, Christy? Is it three months pay uh, or something? Three months of your pay is what you're supposed to Well, so to if you're an NFL player, that's going to be a million dollars. Well, that's why, got, that's why it's a million dollars I got was two words up. for you. Yes. John. Thoughts and feelings. Okay. <laughs> well, apparently thoughts and feelings don't come into play here. It's all here's, about. Here's this free ring I found. Now,
Not found. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> Even that's. That I bet be. you would. Uh, you would uh, try to t uh, twist up some piece of wire and make that an engagement <laughs> ring, honey. This means the world to me. A little twisted wire yes. and uh, one gum wrapper. You've got a pretty ring. Yes. Yeah. It, I made try that. It's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's well, let's move on, Christy. What An etiquette expert out there shared some of her tips on how to deal with some awkward situations, like being presented with a free ring. What's this Miss bitch suggest? <laughs> You're assuming it's a lady? <laughs> well, he, she said it was. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What's Ms. her name? Sarah Jane Ho. H -O <laughs> well, see, how, do you, how does she spell her last name? Yo, Ho! H-O. Yo. Ho. You know, if only we had uh, some sort of musical accompanying it when Josh, uh, <laughs> when Josh starts to uh, be upset about women, I, I wonder yeah, if there's we could, some if we could find that. If we could find that somewhere. About it. Sarah Jane Ho is host of the Netflix show Mind Your Manners, the B word, or something, and offered maybe. her advice when you find yourself in a social bind, like when someone is rude to you. Hmm. What did what she suggest, suggest she you do? She says, Josh, which you were very good at doing, counter it with kindness. Yeah, you gotta yes. do that. If no, he friend does, is... no, he doesn't. He he tries, <laughs> here's what he does. He insults them in some sort of what he thinks is an erudite manner, and they're missing it. But he'll say something like, well, I understand. I got upset too when I didn't understand words. <laughs> right. Or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's very satisfying. It's very, see, see how he is? Oh, I pick up on it. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, so, so you, she says something insulting, and then you'd say something like, well, I assume that you're intoxicated on cheap wine. <laughs> yes. Or you could just say simply, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. why would you be so rude to me? Right. Yeah. Or the classic, uh, a guy at a bar giving you a hard time. Okay. You go, hey, dude, how about I buy you a beer? Let's. I wanted to, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. That's not what I would do. <laughs> Uh, Ms. Ho said you are letting them know they cannot walk all over you, but you're being nice at the same time. Sure, sure. Here's another awkward situation. Covering when you can't remember someone's name. Oh, this mm. is always a good one. Mm. Ever do the classic? Buddy! How do you spell, how do you spell your last name? <laughs> I think of J-O-N-E-S. Oh, I thought maybe there was an H in there. Uh, I do not think it's rude to go, I am so sorry I forgot your name. I do That's what I time. do. Me yes. too. Never let on that you have forgotten someone's name if you have met them multiple times, though, is what she says. Oh, yeah. Try telling the person that you've lost all your contacts after getting a new phone and ask uh, them to put their no, phone number in again. Who believes that? That's, that's no, can't no. you just act like you're coughing and you're always saying their name like whatever you say <laughs> <laughs> yeah. honey this is her. <laughs> <laughs> you know and I are gonna... or there's the old school like she says at a party enlist a friend to help and introduce them to the person whose name you've forgotten we I mean we all of that in law. Yeah, that's see in my opinion if those two couple, situations are more awkward than just going I'm so sorry I forgot your name I agree uh, I agree but yeah, this lady's a full of it. <laughs> full, full of it. How about exiting an uncomfortable conversation? That's real easy, too. How do you do that? Walk away? Um, <laughs> kinda. She yeah. says introduce them to somebody else, and they will hopefully not notice your seamless exit. Is pawn them off on some <laughs> unsuspecting victim? Yes. Here you go. Hey, this guy, you this guy wants to talk presidential politics. Oh, why don't you talk to him? I have to, I have to go shoot myself. <laughs> Here's one. Confronting a friend who never pays you back. You can send them friendly reminders via email you're or not, in person. You're not going to get the money. No. If they it's, not, it's not coming back, I can assure you. <laughs> No, I, I don't care how many emails I send, Oske. <laughs> <laughs> and getting out of lunch with coworkers. Just say yes and try roping in other colleagues. Once you organize it, cancel at the last minute and let all the rest of them go. <laughs> oh, the buffer. This is a this is a professional suggesting this elaborate <laughs> yeah. ruse. Yeah. This, this is exactly. ridiculous. Yeah. You get buffy, you get rodeo clowns in there. <laughs> well, according to her, your colleagues will inter interpret that you inviting others is a sign that you did not want to come to lunch without you actually having to attend the meal. Isn't that what Ray Romano used to do? He and Kevin James used to go to lunch, and uh, Kevin James would always want to eat uh, Ray's lunch, so Ray would get a rodeo a rodeo clown meal to put him <laughs> to, to keep him away from his food. Is that right? Yeah, I thought that was.
was. I always thought that was really funny. What's a rodeo clown meal? Well, so he's you know the, the meal in the middle of the table keeps Calvin away from the. Oh, food that oh, raises. I see. It. Oh, that's so it. the rodeo. The rodeo clown helps the cowboys get away from the bull that's just thrown them. That's <laughs> so funny. Uh, uh, Pat can. Pat's great at getting out of work lunches. Is he? He just goes. I'm a vegan. Everyone goes. Oh, good. Let's go get a burger. There's nothing for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Um, no. Bad advice, I say, on all those. Okay. But what across do I the board? Yeah, I, I do say so across the board. Honesty is always the best policy. Well, it, yeah. Uh, no matter what? Yes. No matter what. You're going to be honest, no matter what. No matter what, ugly shirt. <laughs> Sorry, I can continue to talk to you, ugly face. <laughs> okay, which yeah, is worse. See, I'm, shirt or, I can change my shirt. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Smart. I'm list. sorry. I just I looked at your face and threw, right. threw up okay. a little in my okay. mouth. Okay, all right. Fair uh, enough. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah, maybe a brassiere lady. <laughs> what do you got in there? Uh, do softballs and tube socks? It's oh, distracting. Uh, well, uh, uh, I, I take it back. Maybe honestly, you might want to want to tighten up your belt. <laughs> maybe you can't see your boobs. Maybe you should take a look at a line. A, little white, a few white lies every now and okay. again. Yeah. Uh, right now, I want to talk about a great way to uh, continue rocking in 2024. I'm talking about your food goals. Maybe you've um, uh, reassessed what you're eating a little bit for 2024 in a, in a quest to get a little bit healthier. Or maybe you just want to have great food and save yourself a ton of time. That's where HelloFresh comes in. HelloFresh, how does it work? They do the grocery shopping. They do the measuring. They provide the card with the recipe. You put it together. Some of these quick and easy meals you can put together just a few minutes, pop them in the oven, and voila, super high-quality, restaurant-quality food. Also, uh, well, if you're thinking about um, your health, they've got calorie-smart and protein-smart options each week. And Christy's looking at, what are you looking at right now? Uh, well, we got a, a new box just today, and I'm excited to try the one it's called the one pan cheesy beef tortilla melts. This is a one pan meal. It's ready in less than 20 minutes and they look delicious. It has a green pepper, green pepper and spicy cream sauce inside. So all right, all really right. nice. Uh, Hello Fresh. They've got a new thing going too. It's a uh, free breakfast for life. Uh, that's right. As long as you keep that uh, subscription up and running with Hello Fresh, go to uh, hellofresh.com slash BT show free. That's the code, BT Show Free. Uh, one breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. And we're talking about any kind of food you're into, they're going to have on their roster any given week. And uh, more than 40 to choose from every week, like I said, from uh, a vegan way over that way, over this way to a good old-fashioned comfort food and everything in between, including stuff for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner. Once again, it takes a lot of the anxiety out of planning your meals, not to mention saving you a ton of time. You don't have to go to the grocery store and walk around trying to find all the ingredients. Then you end up with a bunch of food you got to throw away. This also saves a lot on food waste. HelloFresh, a great program. Stem to stern. Now, once again, you go to HelloFresh.com slash BT show free. That free breakfast item per box while your subscription is active. HelloFresh.com slash BT show free. Coming up. It's our history lesson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Chris, are you, you're a single guy, right? Uh, I am. 37 and single. Nobody plans that. <laughs> <laughs> right? No one's in high school going, I'm just going to wait till the end and see who's left. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to find someone my age if for no other reason than they would get my references. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> right? You get tired of telling girls who the Black Crows were. <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever dropped a Fletch reference on a 23-year-old female, <laughs> but you might as well hand that girl a ruby. Cube and a beeper. Because <laughs> she's just staring at you like, what's a water buffalo? <laughs> it's hard to even find a single 37 year old woman. And then when you do, they have a tendency to fall into three categories. They're either A, super career oriented, successful chick. Mm hmm. So I'm out, <laughs> right? Those girls are looking for a guy that owns a suit. Mm -hmm. I have a pair of slacks. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I know I got them because my mom bought them for me. So I had something to wear when people die. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever shown up to a funeral in jeans, but your mom refuses to let that go. <laughs> yep, I agree. In my defense. 
offense, the funeral I showed up to in jeans was for a 94-year-old woman. Mm -hmm. Not exactly a tragic event. Mm. 94 is a solid run. Yeah. It's about time. Uh have you ever been to a 94-year-old person's funeral? Nobody's sad. Everyone's just happy to be off work on a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> a second category of women single at my age are divorcees, and those women are like Chernobyl. <laughs> They're beautiful, but something bad happened, <laughs> and now we all need to leave it alone for a few years. <laughs> for the millennials listening, Chernobyl is a city in Russia. I know a lot of you are wondering why I'm mentioning that map on Call of Duty. Uh, and the last category of women single at my age are women that have been single the entire time because their therapist hasn't quite got their pill combo lockdown <laughs> and they still have episodes where they'll break into your apartment and set fire to kittens <laughs> I don't even have kittens man she brought them <laughs> Chris Porter <laughs> just, I'm just getting ready oh, 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 there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, seven, eight, eighteen wheels on a big rig everybody here we go and they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, let's back them up. Here we go. Oh, there's 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wheels on a big rig. Okay, the even numbers. It's an easy one. Oh, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, roll. Okay, by one and a half. So here we go. Uh oh. Oh, there's one, one and a half, half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, uh, ten and a half, eighteen. Uh, 13, wheels we on, on, wheels on a big rig. <laughs> and they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. Okay, the odd numbers. Here we go. Oh, there's one, three, five, seven, seven, eleven, on a big rig. And they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. rolling. Okay, Roman numeral. I'm here. I'm ready for this one. All right, go. Oh, there's I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, I, V, I, 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 X, 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 I, X, I, I, X, I, 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 X, I, V, X, V, X, V, I, X, V, I, I, X, V, I, 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 wheels on a big rig. Yes, very good. Roman, 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 Roman. Okay, Roman numerals backwards. Here we go. Oh, there's X V I I I X V I I X V I X V X I V X I I I X I I X I X I X V I I I V I I V I V I V I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Magic. Kevin stumbled because his leg gave out on him in a sense. And uh, so it's not 100% that leg, but uh, he's doing, you know, he's playing really well. He, he's not like he's favoring it at all. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Marley is continually, continually to help off of Byron Scott. To get Magic Johnson sports casting my way, call 1 800. Oh, get it out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. We're, we're speaking with uh, Mike Armstrong, comedian, former cop, uh, cop in Kentucky. We're not going to say exactly where you were, cop. We were walking around downtown. Mm -hmm. In, in, in uniform? On, yeah, this guy's laying on the sidewalk. He's laying there going... <laughs> and I'm like, shut up, you drunk fool. Mm -hmm. And I got him over to the hood of the car, and this woman walks up, and she goes, excuse me, officer, you might just want to let him lay there. He just jumped from the 10th floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. 
And my wife's like, what'd you do now? You're on TV again. <laughs> what'd you do? You're on this officer, Mike Armstrong. <laughs> Made matters worse oh, on Thursday my. night. By See why I don't lives? drink? <laughs> yeah, the guy, but he sued me. Uh -huh. <laughs> he sued you? To, yeah, How I'm are you supposed to, to know he's not a drunk? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh -huh. I babysat a cat a couple weeks ago. No, it went in the show. Oh, he. Then he started uh, picking his out of his litter box and dropping him in the middle of the living room floor. <laughs> well, this is a protest. <laughs> It did seem like some sort of action. Cats oh, are, that's funny. you know, jerks, basically. <laughs> Candy. Cats are jerks. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. There's uh, Christy and Pat and Josh and Ace and... I'm Chick, and here's Tom. We're all in our places with uh, shiny faces. We have uh, <laughs> a little bit of a history lesson uh, coming up here. Do you know what the date is? I uh, just looked at this. It's uh, January 18th. Very good. For today. Uh, Are you set? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Time now for set. today in history. This first one's a problem. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> 1778, Captain James Cook discovers Hawaii. Yeah. Well, yeah. it had to be news to the folks who were already living there. Yeah. Hey, uh, you can't discover us. We're already here. Hey, he put them on the map, baby. Uh, they wouldn't have been, they, they never would have been, been found. Would have been, yeah, they, they would having have been a, happy. Having a great time. <laughs> yeah. Don't they have uh, Captain <laughs> Cook's a champagne or something? Or? What is Cook's? There is Cook's, Cook's sparkling yeah. wine, yeah. Uh, 1964. We'll, we'll jump ahead a little bit. Uh, Pat, this is for you. The Beatles make their first appearance on the U.S. Billboard chart with which song? Uh, I want to hold your hand. Very good. Um, weak effort. <laughs> oh, it's a great song. It kind of isn't a great song. I don't like that one. <laughs> it's, 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 she loves you, killed me. I think I the problem it. is that it it was it's like the definitive bubblegum pop sort of sounding thing it's and sort of innocent. Yeah, too innocent. Really? Yeah, I agree. What would your What would your Pornographic take B. Uh, I want to go knuckle deep. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, subtle. Okay, <laughs> thanks. I'm so sorry. Please, uh, please me. That's where it begins and ends. Oh, that's, that's a the great best song. Great. That is good. I agree. I, why do I like that one? But not home. You know, George name. Martin. It was his idea to speed it up. It was, oh, yeah. it was a slow ballad. That's yeah. a great song. Um, how about this? 1858. Daniel Williams. Happy birthday. Danny Bill. Anybody? Anybody? No oh. idea. Oh, he's on uh, Hawaii Five O. Uh, no, oh. he was uh, the first person to perform open heart surgery. On himself. They don't, they, don't, yeah. they, don't, they, don't, they don't have the name of his patient, I'm uh, guessing. Yeah. I'm guessing. Oh, it doesn't doing. say successful open uh, Yeah, no, it did. Oh, 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 oh. right. going to do what? Oh, uh, happy birthday, uh, 1892. Oliver Hardy. Oh, of course, as, uh, as funny as they come. Is that yeah. Laurel and Hardy yes. guys? Oh. Yes, very good, very good. Oliver Hardy flirting is one of the funniest things in the world. <laughs> Stan? Stan always called him, uh, remember Stan's nickname for Oliver Hardy? No. Mm -hmm. Babe. Really? Yeah. I always Aww. called him Babe. Sweet. Yep. Uh, 1904, Cary Grant. Mm, no, he was Christy, good looking. Remember his real name? No. I do. Archie Pusshound. No, it's it, but it's almost as bad. Okay. It's Archie Leach. Archie yeah. Leach. Archie Leach? Yeah. No wonder he changed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, he's funny, too. Um, happy birthday, Ray Dolby. The Dolby Sound System people? Yes. No relation oh. to Thomas Dolby. Who? I, Ooh, hiss. Uh, Ray Dolby, uh, ironically, Dolby. died from mono. <laughs> That's something. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. That's that's very oh. funny. That is very good. Yes. I, I mean, somebody, also, I also funny. Also somebody funny. That at the funeral. Oh. Also funny when I said Ray Dolby and Pat went, boo hiss because that got away. Hiss. It got rid See, of the hiss. Uh. Hiss. Yo. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, it's nerdy. Dolby sound system. Okay. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Kevin Costner. Cossie boy. Uh, birthday for someone who's He's going to stop being in Yellowstone, right? He's out, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. They're going to bring in... Uh, they want McConaughey. They want him. Oh, no kidding? They can't get together on the money. that Sheridan guy is a little difficult. Um, difficult. Happy birthday to a friend of the show, great comedian, Dave Attell. Yes. Very funny. Um, and nice uh, let's see. Happy birthday, uh, Dave Batista. Oh, I love oh, Dave yeah. Batista. He's in yeah. the Guardians Act of the Galaxy. Uh, yeah. Actor. Entertaining actor. Wrestler. Wrestler. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jason Siegel, I'm a big fan. Yeah, he's good. Too. I yeah. love for getting Sarah Marshall. 
I do too. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> and that we now turn to uh, things we learned on the show. Is that correct? Right? Christy hired a person to help her clean out her closet yesterday. I, I did. For Grow six up hours. and do it yourself. <laughs> you don't have an, any idea. Six hours. The we're guy still not done. helping Christy during a bone density scan told her he enjoys our camel toe song. He does very much. I don't know what was happening. All your bones. They're good. They're dense. They're very, very sharp. They're as dense as they should be. I'm in ninety percentile. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. Pretty dense. Uh, lighting farts took up a big uh, hunk of the show. It's true. This morning. It's a, it's a real thing. It happens out there. Some, yeah. It made the international <laughs> news where some poor guy set his pants on fire. <laughs> um, Pat Godwin sang a song about too much porn. Very funny. The idea was that there is too much porn. Found it insulting. <laughs> That's the title. Did Tom you have, did seemed you? confused by the porn hub and their, their search terms. Some of the, I'd never heard some of the terms there. Mm. You said you didn't hear any, uh, had never heard of the trapped porn. You ever heard of that? No, it's called, uh, I stuck thought it was called porn, stuck, right? stuck yeah. porn. He was confused by any term that wasn't non-missionary for non-procreational reasons. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, <I see>. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who had his uh, male member, uh, they tried to make it bigger and it came out smaller. Yeah, four tenths oh. of an inch. Suing the doctor. Mm -hmm. Ironically, in uh, small claims court. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, thank you. Uh, 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 this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.